Just got it painted. We've done large condo complexes, parking garages, pole barns, and commercial strip malls. We code sloped and flat roofs to extend their lives too. Evaluations are free. 877-25-RHINO or 877-25rhino.com. See what we did there? Genius. Tell them, ladies. Don't paint, don't rhino, go rhino shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino shield. Surprise! Surprise! You know, surprise parties, they can be fun, right? Well, financial surprises, not so much, especially when you're retired, like finding out you owe more in taxes than you thought you would, or having to go back to work to make ends meet. Maybe you think you'll be okay, but why not double check just to be sure? Call Marvin Mitchell at Compass Retirement Solutions and schedule a retirement double check. Marvin and his team have been helping families plan for retirement for more than 15 years. Call 314-373-1598 to schedule your retirement double check with Marvin Mitchell at Compass Retirement Solutions. That's 314-373-1598. Don't let a financial surprise derail your retirement dreams. Give Marvin and the team a call, 314-373-1598. Firm offers insurance services, investments, and services offered through Compass Retirement Group, a registered investment advisory in Missouri and in Illinois. Mark Cox here. Selecting the right real estate agent to sell your home is the single most important factor when selling a house. Imagine needing heart surgery. Would you choose a surgeon who performs hundreds of successful surgeries a year or one with minimal experience and mediocre success rates? Selling your home is like doing open-heart surgery on your finances. That's why I recommend you call Gloria Lou with your home sold guaranteed realty and get to know her like I have. Gloria will give you multiple selling options when selling your home. For 20 years, she's been helping home sellers just like you get the most money for their home. Listen, experience, a proven track record, and guarantees matter when you're relying on an agent to get you the most money in the least amount of time. Selling your home, there's only one call you should make. Call Gloria Lou at 314 325 6888. That's 314-325-6888. Or visit GloriaHasTheBuyers.com. That's GloriaHasTheBuyers.com. I'm Tony Kornheiser, and this is my show. What, you expecting something different? Whether you're looking for deep, insightful dives into the day's top sports stories, that's why we have guests, right, Nigel? Or simply how to get changed for 100, you'll find it on the Tony Kornheiser Show. From football picks, from the best prognosticators in the business, including a monkey, to real-time baseball playoff analysis, to traffic in an area where you don't live. We got you covered. My friends, come on, and you know them. Listen on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Connect with the personalities and give your feedback. 97.1 FM Talk is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For content that's additional to the radio, join us there. This hour of the Mark Reardon Show is sponsored by Gamma Tree Experts. Your trees deserve the best care. Call Gamma Tree Experts. The Mark Reardon Show. I hate people individually, but I love mankind. Oh, you do. The Mark Reardon Show. I got into broadcasting because I like to give. Sometimes I find myself hurting from giving too much. That's why I don't read the newspaper, because it's garbage. The Mark Reardon Show is on now. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the Mark Reardon Show. My name is Mike Elam. Sitting in for Mark today, Mark is taking the day off, but he is going to be back tomorrow. Abby is here, though. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing quite well. How are you? I am good. I'm uh, So Sue has a meeting in the building, and she is out for the moment, but she is going to be back. She's going to join us in just a little bit. I forgot to turn that light back on. So there you go. There's the, there's the shiny light. All this radio video stuff is really screwing me up. Right? Yeah, it's new for a lot of people. So, I know. Like I if mean, you look at the live stream right now and look like a white ghost. So <laughs> you do. You are all washed out. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Annie looks so good she on her stream. Does. Yeah. She just, you know, I mean, she is she is a smart looking lady anyway. However, when she does the stream, she looks even better. Like she knows how to make the camera work. I know how to make a microphone work, and I look really good on traditional <laughs> radio, not necessarily on a stream. So so that was it. Uh, so like I said, Mark is going to be back tomorrow. He has got a big week this week. Uh, New York Post John Levine is going to be on tomorrow. Brian Kilmeade is going to be on. Uh, 
On Thursday, he's got Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly back on the radio. I used to love listening to Bill O'Reilly. Uh, he is always fun to be there. And then on Friday, we're already talking about Friday. Really? Why? Okay. I get it. Fred says, you know, we plan ahead. And God love you for doing that. Because when I come in, you've already planned ahead. So I, I love that. On the roundtable uh, this coming Friday, it's going to be Jane Duker, former state senator John Lapping, and Kara Spencer is all going to be here. So you've got city, you got state, you got county, and, of course, you have the award-winning Mark Reardon. But today, yeah. you have Abby and Mike Elam. St. Charles County Councilman, who is hanging out today until 6 o'clock. It is going to be a fantastic show. Uh, coming up later on this hour, we're going to talk with Travis Fitzwater, who is a Missouri State Senator from Holt Summit. That is the new State Senate District that came into play in 2022, which is Senate District 10 that he is from. So he is the far northwestern section of St. Charles County into Lincoln County into uh, Pike County. So we're going to talk with uh, with him a little bit later on. Jeff Murdoch is going to uh, join us as well. Jeff is a uh, White House correspondent from Washington Times. So we are going to talk to him a little bit uh, later on this hour. Brad Young is going to join us next hour. Brad, you hear him a lot filling in from time to time. Uh, Sue's News, of course, is going to be at 407. Got Frank Cusimato. And then later on today, Missouri Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe is going to join us. We have a lot going on that we are going to get to. But before we do that, did you have a fun weekend? Did you enjoy yourself this weekend? I did. I had a really fun weekend. What did you do that was fun this weekend? On Saturday night, my family, so my dad, my mom, and my brother and I went to go see Stop Making Sense, the Talking Heads. Oh, yeah. 1983 concert movie. And it How was, was that? It was so fun. Where did you see that? At Ronnie's in South County. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe this was like a special theater presentation that they did somewhere no nope. no it was a ronnie's yeah just okay at ronnie's, very cool so it was pretty fun and you're going to a big concert tonight uh i don't big's maybe a too big a word but it, it's a concert with half alive half alive half alive half alive and that's a l i v e yes. half alive mm -hmm. okay at first i thought you were telling me half a life and oh. i thought well that's <laughs> that's me but half alive is the name that's of the me. band and that is going on tonight yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna get you out of here on time tonight uh, oh, which yeah. we, we have to anyway. Um, <laughs> I had a fantastic weekend because this weekend was Oktoberfest in St. Charles. Have you ever done Oktoberfest in St. Charles? I went last year. Man. So uh, Justin Faust and Dan Faust and the whole Faust crew and the, the Lions and all those folks have a wonderful time. They put together a great Oktoberfest. If you've never been next year, you need to go because it wrapped up yesterday. But just a wonderful time. I got the opportunity to pour beer with uh, St. Charles Sunrise Rotary Club, which is my Rotary Club. So we volunteered with Cottleville Weldon Spring Chamber at the Sudworks uh, booth. So Sudworks Brewery, it's based out of Davis, California, oh. but they have a huge distribution that they're doing here. It's some guys who used to be part of AB. They moved out to California, started a brewery, and they said, hey, we'd love to have our beer in our hometown. So... Jason Gregory has just worked his butt off to get Sudworks all over the place in the St. Louis area. Mm -hmm. And they had a, their Oktoberfest beer is called Doxyfest. And it has two dachshunds oh, on the front of it. that's so, so cute. They always have the coolest looking cans. Every time they come out with some special beer, they just have these really cool looking cans. So, um... Got to pour their beer all weekend, which is great because you're a charity, so they work with you to help you raise some money for your charity so we can give money to other people. Um, but while you work, you have the uh, fortunate pleasure to be able to sample the product that you are giving out to others absolutely free, which is awesome. As long as you stay on task and you remember your primary job is to give beer to other people, not to pour beer for yourself. So some folks lose track of that, but uh, <laughs> most of us do do pretty good. So congratulations to Oktoberfest, folks. That was a fantastic time. Um, anybody watch the Sunday talk shows? I know a lot of people are probably tired of them, and I, I get tired of them, but yet I feel like, especially when I'm going to do a Monday radio show, I really need to watch the Sunday show. So my brother-in-law was in town this weekend because my other brother-in-law turned 60. So we had a big family birthday party for him last night. But yesterday morning, 
I'm scrolling through the Sunday talk shows, and I had forgotten that Chuck Todd is no longer the host of Meet the Press, which I'm good with because I couldn't stand Chuck Todd, and I was just so excited for him to go away. He supposedly retired, with air quotes around that word, but from what everybody was saying, he was encouraged to retire before they retired him. So he uh, was voluntold that he was retiring, and so he retired. So the new host that they have is Kristen Welker, and she looks great on camera. Uh, she, she asks good questions, I think, in terms of content. Now, I don't agree with the standpoint because she's still NBC, and she is hanging on to that uh, general media of we think conservatives are evil, so you feel that in the questions that she asks. But some people have a voice that's very pleasant to listen to. And it doesn't really matter what they say. It's just good on the ear, right? It hits your ear softly. Hopefully, if you're doing radio, you have one of those voices. Because if you don't, you get really annoying. But on TV, you can get away with, you don't have to have the melodious tones that other people need to have, right? But she has this rapid fire, pop, 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 tone with her voice. And it's very sharp. So when she asks these questions, for me, it makes me feel anxious when I listen to her. So the more that she talks, the more it makes me feel uneasy. So I can't even get the content that she's doing. But I feel like I need to, I need to watch CNN. I need to watch MSNBC. I need to watch NBC from time to time just to understand what is the proverbial other side talking about? Because a lot of times we sit in our echo chambers and we know what we think. And it just drives us crazy that you're like, why do people not know about this? So you go and listen to the other side for a little bit. And I say a little bit because if you listen very long, it drives you BS crazy, right? So you just can't listen for a very long period of time. But I was listening to her yesterday and I'm thinking, man. I don't think this is going to work well for you. I think you're going to be here for a while, and somebody else is going to be the host of Meet the Press. Just, it's amazing where you have these shows that are legendary shows, 60 Minutes, Meet the Press. And back in the day, you had people who were the host of those shows that, for the most part, you couldn't tell whether they were liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican. You really didn't know that much. You could tell some, but a lot of them were more down the middle. And they took being a news person very seriously. And I really used to like Tim Russert. When Tim Russert did the show, I thought he had a fantastic delivery. The way he asked the questions were great. He would uh, uh, interject humor from time to time with that. And I thought that was fantastic. But once Tim Russert, when we lost him... I just don't feel like we've had anything on Meet the Press that's been there. I will tell you, though, on the other side, on uh, Fox, on their Sunday morning show, I really like Shannon Bream. Shannon Bream has a great delivery. She's very easy to listen to. She Her content is great. She takes people to task in a very professional manner. Like, she's not hard on them. Sometimes you'll get these hosts that'll go, I need to push back on that. I'm going to push back on that right now because this is what it really is. And I'm going to ask a question in a way that makes my point for me, that makes you say anything that you say that's different than how I'm asking you right now. You're a liar. I'm like, you're annoying. I really hate it when they do stuff like that. But Shannon Bream doesn't seem to do that. And they all have the round tables these days. I mean, hey, we have the Reardon round table on Friday. But they all have these round tables, and you know where everybody's at, and you know if it's going to be on an an MSNBC or even an ABC or something like that when they do the roundtables. They've got a room full of liberals and one, we'll call them moderate Republican. Um, Chris Christie has made a follow-up career after politics of being that Republican uh, on the panel on the liberal shows. And God bless him for being able to make a very good living by, by putting all that together. But when you have the ones that um, Juan Williams is always the one on Sunday morning, at least usually the one on Sunday morning on Fox. And you always know Juan Williams is going to come up with some insane type of logic 
that he's going to put together. So they started talking about the presidential polls and talking about where are we in the presidential race. And it seems like Trump's numbers just keep getting bigger. And everybody else is just playing for second place or they're playing for vice president at this point. And I think there's a lot of them that are just they understand. I mean, Trump's at what, 60 percent right now. So it's just this is and unless something amazing happens and the sky falls and we didn't see it coming, um, this thing's over and and Trump's going to be the nominee. Now, not saying that it can happen, but to say if you take everybody else in the race and you put all their scores together, they're still not beating him. So you've got Trump and everybody else. So we have another debate that's coming up at the Reagan Library that Fox Business is hosting on Wednesday. And once again, Trump has said, yeah, don't think so. Uh, I'm not going to give you a free shot at me. I'm going to ignore you, and I'm not going to be a part of this debate. So it, it worked for him the last time. The ratings on the debate weren't that great. Um, nobody really had a moment that you go, oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. Um, uh, Vivek uh, has pretty much kind of had his flash, and now he's done at least in my opinion. He doesn't seem to be growing anymore. He seems to be going the other direction. They came out with the latest polls that have Trump beating Biden now by nine points. So uh, I, I do agree with one of the things that Chris Christie was talking about is if you look at national polls, they're very misleading because no one pays attention. No one votes that way. You don't pick a nominee by national polls. You're going to start in Iowa. Then you're going to go to New Hampshire, then you're going to go to South Carolina. And depending on how those three go, you're going to weed out a whole bunch of other people and they're going to go to their second choice and they're going to start voting for their second choice at that point. We're down to eight candidates, really, because you've got seven who are going to be on the stage, plus Trump. Everybody else didn't qualify for enough to be in the second debate, which pretty much means you're toast. Why are, why are we even worried about you? Which we're not going to anymore. Uh, thanks for playing. See you. Bye. So we're going to find out if these seven can have some sort of moment. But without Trump, can you? Can you have a moment? I don't think you can. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how that stuff plays out. But one of the things we are going to find out is what is going on in the Missouri Senate. And one of the best ways to find out what's going on in the Missouri Senate is to talk to a Missouri senator. So we are going to do that with Travis Fitzwater coming up on the other side. My name is Mike Elam. We hope that Mark Reardon is having a fantastic day off today and everything worked out the way that he needed it to work out today. In the meantime, uh, Sue is back. She's got traffic coming up for us in just a little bit. My name is Mike Elam. This is the Mark Reardon Show. This is St. Louis's home for Conservative Talk, 97.1 FM Talk. <laughs> A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. We are looking okay out there on the roads. If you are just headed out the door, there's some volume on the Illinois side. And I just want to mention this. It's road work westbound 64 in the Shiloh area. So that's just west of 158, and that's causing a jam. The other jam is eastbound 70 headed into downtown, and that starts right around Salisbury. We've got westbound 40 lined up approaching Lindbergh out through Ballas and some moderate volume at Lake St. Louis Boulevard. Westbound 70, just some moderate volume at Zumbel. And a little bit of a slowdown southbound 55 through the construction zone. And that starts south of Lopboro. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. It's 323 at 97.1. St. Louis is home for conservative talk. Brought to you by Scott Lee Heating. Scott Lee Heating's premier dealer distinction means you'll be working with the best the industry offers. Learn more about our special savings opportunities on Lennox products by calling 314-756-9444 or visit us online at scottleeheating.com. You've been listening to the very popular Wellness 101 for many years, Saturdays and Sundays on 97.1 FM Talk. We're happy to share that we've expanded the show to four times a week. Yes, four times every weekend. Saturday at 10 a.m., Saturday at 8 p.m., Sunday at 9 a.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. It's the same great show designed to cut through the nonsense and provide you a common sense, science-based strategy for a healthy life. So join TJ and Aaron for Wellness 101. 
Now, four times a week on 97.1 FM Talk. St. Louis physician Dr. Abicki created Neovitin 15 years ago to help support his own nutrition when he needed it most. Since then, Neovitin has helped thousands of people support their daily nutrition with sensible doses of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and Dr. Abicki's proprietary blend. If you're ready to join many St. Louisans in supporting their nutrition, give Neovitin a try. You can find Neovitin at your local Schnucks, Deerbergs, and online at neovitin.com. If you're considering an annuity as part of your retirement plan, we need to talk. Hi, I'm Bob Stockdale, Senior Vice President Investments with the ClearPath Wealth Management Group at Stiefel and host of On the Money, Saturday mornings at 11 on 97.1 FM Talk. Annuities can be a useful tool for some retirement investors, but not all annuities are created equal. Every week, we meet clients who own complex annuities that don't suit their needs and, in some cases, actively undermine their retirement plan. Before you purchase an annuity, get a second opinion from the ClearPath Wealth Management Group at Stiefel. Requesting a consultation is free of charge. To request a free consultation, contact us at clearpathinvesting.com. That's clearpathinvesting.com or call us at 636-695-2650. That's clearpathinvesting.com or 636-695-2650. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated member NYSC and SIPC. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify consumers with over a billion dollars in debt and are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now. Call 800-873-7171. 800-873-7171. Join Mosby Building Arts every Saturday from 12 to 1 p.m. on 97.1 FM. Rich Ors and guests give insider tips about renovations, design, construction, exteriors, and more. Tune in to Write at Home with Rich on Saturdays or catch the podcast online. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 800- 6525241 now Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-652-5241. That's 800-652-5241. What do you have to lose? Call 800-652-5241. Again, 800-652-5241. It's time for a $98 furnace tune-up. You're invited to the Young Republicans Freedom Fest Barbecue. Mark Cox here. Join me October 8th in Fenton. Hear from several GOP power players fighting for the future of the Republican Party and help bring conservative values to Missouri. Learn more at 971talk.com slash events. You're listening to The Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Hope your Monday has gone well. You're getting back into the swing of things for people like me, and you're recovering from Oktoberfest. It was a great time, but now the work week is back, and it's time to get your stuff together and get moving. Uh, A guy who never has to get his stuff together because he always has it going on is the Missouri State Senator Travis Fitzwater from District 10. Senator, how are you today, sir? 
I'm doing great. Thank you guys for having me on. Hey, I didn't oversell that you always have it together, right? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's exactly how it works. Well, I'll talk to my wife. She'll tell you maybe a different story, but <laughs> we got a lot going for us. It's it's a great time to be alive. You know, you have had a uh, a rip roaring time. I mean, you were in the house for eight years. So what's going on in Jeff City is not new to you. You you definitely know everything there. But I mean, you jumped in uh, the fire right away because you came in as the chair of transportation infrastructure and public safety. Uh, very, very busy. You're the vice chair of commerce, consumer protection, energy, and the environment. Uh, you're kind of involved in a little bit of everything. How was, I, I haven't had a chance to catch up with you, I guess, since session ended. How was your first session as a senator? No, it was so busy in a lot of good ways, a lot of, you know, a lot of frustrating ways, but we just had a huge agenda. You know, we got this I-70 thing funded, which I think is probably the biggest thing I'll do in my time in the Senate as far as a, a policy position that will impact the whole state of Missouri in such a significant way. We had a really, because I'm the chair of that that committee that I had, that includes public safety, we had a pretty robust, robust conversation about St. Louis, the crime issues there, and um, getting rid of a prosecutor there that wasn't doing her job. And so we... You know, we had a lot going on this year that was a really big deal, and we will, we will we will continue to have that in 2024 as we fight for the St. Louis region, making sure that people feel safe in the city, and then um, bringing justice to the, those violent criminals that are terrorizing our communities. Well, for the people who don't know, you have a district that um, goes from Callaway, Lincoln, Montgomery, Pike, uh, that northwest section of St. Charles County. You got a lot of area to cover. Up there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a big district. You, you do. And I always claim you as a St. Charles County senator. I don't know if you like that or not, but I sure like the fact being a St. Charles County councilman, I appreciate you and, and your temperament and uh, how you just go about your business. But uh, that I-70 widening project is going to start right there in Wentzville. And That's right. that is the second biggest bottleneck in the entire St. Louis region. And uh, as County Executive Elman talks about, we may have the gateway to the west in St. Louis, but if you're going to go west from St. Charles County, you got to squeeze under that railroad bridge uh, to try to get there. So I really appreciate the fact that you got that done. And $2.8 billion uh, is a really good start to really help Missouri go forward. How was veto session in the Senate compared to veto session in the House in the past? Yeah, there's a lot there. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm happy to represent St. Charles. There's so many good folks. I was just in Wentzville on Saturday for an Oktoberfest at some friends' house. I don't know if you know Peg and Art Bodorf, but they're terrific folks. And and uh, so I got, went to their house. We had a, a great time being around them. And the Representative Tricia Burns, who I've worked incredibly well together, she's a bulldog on a bone on several issues and <laughs> thankful for her. And um, so, you know, that's being being getting to represent um, Wentzville, which is the fastest growing area of the state, and it's not particularly close. I mean, just people are, are going to Wentzville. It's a great place to live, raise your family. Um, there's a lot of opportunity there. It's a big deal. And because of that, you know, you're seeing this this traffic problem. I-70 already needed to be expanded, but that S-curve in Wentzville is a real problem. There's a, the railroad issue. There's negotiating between Mo MoDOT and the railroads and, and trying to make sure we, we have the land for all that space and it's you know it's it's a big project that's a multi hundreds of millions of dollars just in that area alone but it has to be expanded because all the way out to Forstel you're you're having an incredible increase in traffic uh, economic development opportunities Warren County's growing which is in my district but um, you know that edge right there with with um, St Charles that Forstel area is going to grow quickly because you have St Louis Community Colleges going or I'm sorry St Charles Community Colleges facility going in there you have a meat packing pro project that's going in. There's other other investments that want to go right in, right there on the edge of Warren and, and St. Charles County. So, a lot needs to be done, and I-70 was a no-brainer to fund when we had record revenues. And if we're not going to keep giving tax cuts to Missourians, the second best thing we can do is infrastructure dollars. And I hope that now that we've done all the infrastructure programs, we can focus on hopefully, if we have another good year revenue-wise as a state, we give money back to Missourians. You know, you were talking about everybody wants to come to Wentzville, and I agree with that. The one person I never expected would want to come to Wentzville is AOC. Oh, All my word. Sudden, AOC shows up in Wentzville. I know. That just shows you the worst everybody wants to be in Wentzville. <laughs> I can't think of somebody who doesn't relate worse or who, someone who relates worse to Wentzville folks and civilians, even UAW workers, than right. AOC. 
You I can... mean, I think it's federal policy. It's creating the problems we see with inflation. I think it's their federal policy on climate and this renewable stuff and green energy stuff that's that's really killing our state's economy. I haven't had a chance to catch up with anybody who was at the event that she and uh, uh, Congresswoman Bush were at. Um, but from what I heard, they were not received very warmly. Uh, <laughs> I, that's a shocker, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. The socialists slash communists aren't going to be received well in a community of white, uh, of blue collar workers that are, um, that are working hard for their families and doing the best they can to make a living in the midst of incredible inflation, thanks to the Bidenomics. And uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine they were received very well. It, but it just goes to show you that uh, St. Charles County in Wentzville is right in the heart of this entire discussion. Because if, if you've got each of the car manufacturers who shut down one plant, it really speaks to the fact when they said each of them wanted to shut down one plant that they felt was the most profitable plant with their particular company. And for General Motors, they picked Wentzville. And I think at least from a really positive standpoint that says... How important is that factory to General Motors of all the factories they have in the United States? That's the one that they picked. It's crucial. It's it's crucial for them, but it's crucial for us, too. Those are really good jobs. And uh, and I hope the UAW and GM can come to some conclusion because I think it's just so important that those jobs remain there. And those folks, those U- UAW workers who've worked there for decades and have, have worked devotedly to their company, get the raises they deserve, uh, you know, there's a lot there, but um, I really I really hope they can come to some conclusion on that quickly. I did want to come back to the, the – and I did rapid-fire questions at you, so sorry about that. But no, I fine. did want to come back to veto session because there were an awful lot of issues that the governor yeah. vetoed that had to do with our region. And he took an awful lot out, and we didn't get a ton back in this time, did we? Yeah, I, I'm really sorry. I missed that. I forgot about that question. But, yeah, the veto session was interesting – yeah, and we weren't the only ones. You know, St. Charles wasn't the only ones that that got hammer on on vetoes in the the budget. We had a very large budget. Thankfully, the the vast majority of it that was new spending was infrastructure projects. So it's not new program. If we're going to spend money in the budget, we're going to increase our budgets. It's best used in infrastructure because that's one time spending, as opposed to new programs that never go away. I don't know if you you know government programs are the closest thing to eternity. I think something Ronald Reagan said years ago, but. That's um, very true. It, it, but the veto session, the, the governor did take an ax to several St. Charles projects. The one that's really kind of the most frustrating, and I think there's really no precedent for how it was set up, um, was the loan program for the water project in St. Charles. And, uh, you know, water is so crucial. That stuff needs to be funded. We need to we need to give opportunities to local communities for to, to make sure the water is in, in a good spot. And especially with all the concerns with the contaminations in St. Charles County, I think uh, that's a crucial project that the state ought to be involved in. So, you know, there were some frustrations with the budget. The governor, I think, did a good job on vetoing uh, several things that probably shouldn't have been in the budget in the first place, but there were several, a lot of St. Charles money. Um, he vetoed basically everything in the St. Charles outside of I-70, which St. Charles is going to benefit greatly from. Um, you know, there's, there are several things that we just got to go back to the table and, and see if we can find a path for next year. I got a chance to talk to the Speaker of the House the other day after they had done their caucus uh, in looking ahead to what is going to be the House priorities moving into next year's session. Has the Senate done that as well? And, and what are those priorities that you see being the top headline things that the Republican senators want to get done next year? That's a great question. We have our caucus meeting at the beginning of November, so we'll know more. But, you know, we had a really divided Republican caucus this year, unfortunately. We have a supermajority and we had a hard time getting big things done because we couldn't agree on several issues. And uh, I'm there to try to be effective and try to get things done, and I want to get these policy positions done. I really think um, property tax reform is important, Um, maybe maybe not on Senator Igel's level where you get rid of all of it, but – um, letting people own their vehicles at some point, I think, is really crucial, and giving seniors a break is very important. Um, giving all Missourians a break on taxes in the midst of crazy inflation is really important. Then IP reform is really, really crucial, I think, to many Republicans across the state. How do we ensure that our sacred document, the Missouri Constitution, is protected against um, these these crazy filings that get put on the ballot? 
and making sure that yeah, Missourians should have the right to change the change the state constitution, but it, it probably shouldn't be as easy as majority plus one or majority rules on that. It ought to be a little bit harder, um, at least in my opinion, to to change our constitution. And so there, you know, there's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of discussion, and then I feel like half the Senate's running for a statewide office. I am not, so this is not an announcement of anything, but. You know, that's going to create some dynamics that'll be really interesting in the Senate next year when everybody's running against each other for something. I was going to ask you about that because, I mean, really for the past couple of years, the Missouri Senate has has not been the most functioning body that we've had in the past, right? There's been a lot of back and forth and a lot of internal fighting uh, between GOP members. So I was just curious, as we look into next year, it, it really feels like half of the Missouri senators, it's probably at least a quarter to be like legit a quarter of the yeah, senators probably, are running right. for a, a new office uh, for next year, which is going to, I'm assuming muddy the waters even more than, than they normally are. Yeah. I, well, first of all, Warren, Missouri is just, you know, when you see floor speeches on the Senate, just make sure you have that in the back of your mind. Are they running for a statewide office or not? Right. Uh, first of all, secondly, I think, there's one there's one caveat to the to the Senate being as as deliberative as we've been in the past and sometimes frustratingly so is that the less we do the better off Missourians are most Missourians just want us to leave them alone but right. I think there are a lot of conservative reforms we're leaving on the table because we can't get along like property tax reform which was a vote away from being done this last year should have gotten done IP reform should have been put on the ballot for Missourians to decide on that was one vote away there were several provi- several pieces of legislation that I thought were crucial that just were killed by Republican filibusters. These aren't, the, you know, the last two weeks of the session, Democrats didn't have to talk at all because Republicans were fighting. And that's no good for our conservative values when he had big things on the table ready to be done. Foreign ownership of land, that was another one. That was a big deal. We'll have a big conversation about this next year. So there's, there's a lot that remains to be done. And, and we've got to figure out a way, a path forward as Republicans to work together to get those things done. And uh, there is a path. It's just people have to be able to work in tandem. Well, the one thing I would tell you is uh, don't feel bad and make and thinking that it's only you because I'm watching Kevin McCarthy and everything that he's going through in Washington, D.C. right now, and we're not even guaranteed that he's going to stay on as speaker uh, through this whole potential government shutdown budget uh, that's going on right now. So it's not just you. <laughs> we seem yeah, to do well, that listen, all they, across the country. Yeah, that, that's – I've What's happening in D.C. At, at a minimum, they've got to get the national debt under control. Like right. we're 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 in big trouble. Our country's in big trouble. Our national debt is a real real problem. And when interest rates are at two percent, at two and a half percent, it's a little bit easier to handle than it is at seven percent, which is where these new rates are going to start kicking in, and our federal debt is going to balloon like crazy. And if D.C. these folks in D.C. can't figure it out, they need to get out. I would agree. Hey, that is Missouri State Senator Travis Fitzwater of District 10. Senator, I really appreciate you making time, and thanks for coming on today. Yeah, glad to do it. Thanks for your time. He is always a great guy to talk to. Uh, Very well-spoken. I just love the way that he approaches his job. He did eight years in the House, uh, so he understands how Jefferson City works, and, and he does a fantastic job. Like I said, there are a lot of issues that are going on, not just in Jeff City, But there's all kinds of stuff that's going on in Washington, D.C. And we are going to talk to Jeff Mordock, who is the White House correspondent for The Washington Times. On the other side of this, I mean, we've got senators who's got money sold into their sewn into their clothing, gold bars. But no, that was just my personal money. There's no bribery going on here. (laughs) <laughs> right. Oh, my God. What could possibly be happening here? It's the Mark Reardon Show. My name is Mike Elam, sitting in for Mark today on 97.1 FM Talk. A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. Moving traffic eastbound 70 east of Salisbury headed into downtown. Take the express lanes. That will help you. If you are westbound leaving town, well, periodically there's some volume. It gets heavy and then it's not so bad. But this is approaching Lindbergh through that work zone at Ballas. 
and they've got the left lane blocked at Ballast, slowing again at Highway N. Now, we look pretty good on northbound 270. Southbound, of course, some moderate volume between 44 and 21. Southbound 55, most of the volume there is from River to Pear down through Lindbergh in the construction zone. Quiet through North County and no delays if you're headed into Illinois on the bridges downtown. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. This report brought to you by Jerry Kelly. It's 343 and 971, St. Louis's home for conservative talk. JerryKelly.com says if you purchase a full home comfort system today, they'll install it the very next day. That's fast. And guaranteed. Buy a home comfort system from Jerry Kelly today and they'll install it tomorrow or they'll give you $500. Guaranteed. JerryKelly.com We all do our one thing. Together millions of things for our planet. Use your vehicle less in September. Walk or bike to close destinations and enjoy more time outdoors. When we each share a one thing, it becomes a million things for our planet. What's your one thing? This is Dan McLaughlin, inviting you to the 21st annual Dan McLaughlin Golf Tournament to benefit the Special Education Foundation. This tournament has raised over $5 million, and 100% of the money raised has gone to children with special needs in our community. To sponsor, volunteer, or to play in the event on October 9th at Norwood Hills Country Club, please visit sef-stl.org. I'll see you on October 9th at Norwood Hills Country Club. Monday, everybody. Nobody Monday, brings you Monday, more value well, in fine yeah. jewelry than Diamonds Direct. And they're proving it again by rolling back interest rates to 0%. But you need to hurry. Now through Sunday only, you can make any purchase and spread your payments over five years with an unheard of interest rate of 0.0%. A $6,000 ring is just 100 bucks a month. But hurry. This radical offer ends Sunday at 5 p.m. Don't miss this once-a-year blockbuster deal. Hurry. Five years, zero interest financing. Get details and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Diamonds Direct, your love, our passion. Unproved credit. Tired of constantly caring for a home exterior that doesn't look as good as it should? You deserve beautiful, low-maintenance James Hardy Fiber Cement Siding. James Hardy gives you gorgeous colors, stands up to Missouri's harsh weather, and lasts decades. At Lakeside Renovation and Design, we're experts in installing America's number one siding. And our lifetime workmanship warranty gives you peace of mind. Get a lovely, lasting home exterior with Lakeside Renovation and Design. Request a free consultation at 636-978-5000. That's 636-978-5000. And love your home all over again. Some days I cover up because of my moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now I'm hitting the road with clearer skin thanks to Sky Rizzy, Rizm Kism of Rizza, a prescription only 150 milligram injection for adults who are candidates for systemic or phototherapy. Is with Sky Rizzy, three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Don't use if allergic to Sky Rizzi. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Before treatment, your doctor should check for infection and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fever, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Thanks to Sky Rizzi, there's nothing on my skin, and that means everything. your doctor today about Sky Rizzi, the number one dermatologist prescribed biologic in psoriasis. And visit SkyRizzy.com or call 1-866-SKY-RIZZY to learn more. Is your oven freezing cold and your fridge running hot? Holy call Hoffman Brothers! Hoffman Brothers can repair and install any appliance in your home. From dishwashers and refrigerators to washers, dryers, ovens, and more. And if it's just not worth fixing, our techs will help you replace it with a new one and install it right away with the same great service and satisfaction for over 40 years. So when the clothes won't dry and the dishes won't wash? Holy call Hoffman Brothers! 314-664-3011 or go to hoffmanbros.com We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6986. Don't lose hope. 
TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-6986. That's 800-575-6986. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. This is Christina Strait with Strait Realty reminding you why pay more than four. In 2003, we had a dream to start a real estate company that would revolutionize the real estate market. Now, 20 years later, after navigating through the many markets, ups and downs, we know exactly how to help you in this challenging time. I'm Christina Strait, owner of Strait Realty. Don't give away your hard-earned equity. Give us a call today. 314-441-4444. 314-441-All Fours. And remember, why pay more than four? Straight Realty is a licensed broker in the state of Missouri. The Mark Cox Morning Show. Tuesday, President Biden's appointed a gun violence czar that happens to be the vice president. We'll talk it over with the gun owners of America at 735. The Mark Cox Morning Show. On St. Louis's home for conservative talk. Everything is freedom. You're listening to the Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. It's Mike Elam filling in today on the Mark Reardon Show. Mark will be back tomorrow. John Levine, Brian Kilmeade, Phil Kogan, all going to be here tomorrow. But that is then. This is now. You know, if there was just something going on in Washington, D.C. that we had to talk about, wouldn't that be great? Luckily, there is. And better for me, the White House correspondent for The Washington Times, Jeff Mordock, is on the phone with us today. Jeff, I'm sure your job is just so boring at the moment that there just doesn't seem to be anything for you to cover. Oh, I'm poking myself to stay awake during the days. That's just how uh, that's just how slow it's become. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start with you. I, whether we want to talk about the, the looming government shutdown, whether we want to talk about the fact that, that Donald Trump is running away with this presidential race and nothing seems to stop, or if we want to talk about Senator Menendez once again is in trouble for doing things that are unsorted. What are the odds? Haven't we heard this story before with him? Well, it's interesting with Senator Menendez because um, he, he this is the second time he got a hung jury the first time, and these are completely different charges. I, you have to wonder what he was thinking to even put himself in a position where these charges could come about after skating on the last time where he was just grateful to a hung jury. And now he comes out and makes it seem like, eh, this is nothing to see here. This is all my own personal money. I mean, yeah, we all have gold bars sitting in the closet. Where do you even get a gold bar? That's I have what no I was idea. Kind of wondering. I'm like, wait, do they still make those? Did you get those off a pirate ship? Like, where did you get gold bars? But yet, he yeah, it's like, it's, it's not a big deal. And by the time this is all done, I'm still going to be the senior senator. And I'm like, you know what? It's New Jersey. He may very well be right. I mean, and anything is possible there. Well, there's a couple of things. One, in his press conference day, he never directly addresses the allegations. All he really says is he's keeping the money in his house in case of an emergency. And, you know, $480,000 emergencies are the worst kind of emergency. They really are. Yeah. they're they're. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, and it seemed instead of rather than mounting some kind of vigorous defense or trying to explain the situation, he just decided to lean heavily on his Cuba roots, suddenly pulling out an accent that, you know, we haven't heard from him in a long time, using Hispanic words that we don't ever really see him use, and really trying to lean in to support from the Hispanic population. It, it does reek of desperation. Whether or not it works doesn't really matter, because in the end, who's going to decide his fate are the people that um, – that, are going to that is the jury and is the federal jury in in New Jersey. It, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. And I I look at that part and I go, that's a bad show. Uh, I had to catch the word that I was going to use, so that's a <laughs> bad one to watch. But then I'm watching this Kevin McCarthy stuff, and I'm thinking, are we going to have a government shutdown? Like, what's your over under on this? I think we do, and I think we have it for a little bit. Okay. I, I think I think it gets there, and I think because I, I Kevin McCarthy is really in a rock and a hard place. Here. He is. 
Um, he, you know, he can go, as you know, he can go, he can, pa- he can pass the GOP bills, send it to the Democratic controlled uh, Senate, where it's going to be dead on arrival, and that's not going to go anywhere. And he can pass the bipartisan continuing resolution. That is going to turn the House, the more conservative members of the House, against him. I, I have to believe either way a shutdown is inevitable because he's really stuck, and it'll be interesting to see where he tries to take this. And now, to make matters worse on him, now he has President Trump insisting that he should move forward with the shutdown. I, I, it'll be really interesting to see. And also, the other thing is, while we're talking about what he may or may not do, it might be irrelevant because I'm not even sure he has the votes to move forward with anything. That's the interesting thing that I, as I've been watching all this stuff and reading everything that I can to try to keep up, on because you know Taylor Swift being at the Kansas City Chiefs game was the only story that happened yesterday. So I've been trying to keep up on an actual government shutdown, which is arguably not quite as important as wherever Taylor Swift goes in the world. But uh, is is it really an open question as to whether or not he stays as speaker, or is that just bluster? I think it's bluster because I think the embarrassment to the Republican Party of having him lose and having him lose to the hard base. The, the Republican Party is desperately trying to appeal to the centrist. They're desperately trying. And I think something like this is going to make it look like President Trump is in charge of the policy. They want to move away from that. They recognize that under President Trump, you know, he did not win in 2020. Uh, the midterms were, were very brutal. Or I shouldn't say brutal. The, the midterms were not what they had expected in 2022. Um, and I think they're very worried that this is going to look like Trump still has control of the party. He still does because he's running away, running away with the Republican nomination. But I think the Republican Party is desperately trying to project that that's not the case. I've only got about 30 seconds here, but I want you to follow up on that. He is running away. It, is there anything that is going to stop Donald Trump from being the Republican nominee? The only thing that I think would be if there's some evidence in the trials that come out, the criminal trials he's facing, he's got four of them next year, that come out that is something we previously hadn't heard about, we previously don't know, something incredibly shocking. I think that's the only thing that's going to derail this. And I don't even know if we're going to get to trials because he has a habit of delaying. And if he's running away with things, he can delay this until he's pre- then his own Justice Department drops it. That is Jeff Mordock. He is the White House correspondent for The Washington Times. Jeff, I really appreciate your time today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Sue's News coming up on the other side at 97.1 FM Talk. A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. Yep, we've got some volume out there. Nothing too terrible. If you are just headed out... It's just the the usual volume, and unfortunately, there's plenty of that on westbound 6440. It's mainly approaching Lindbergh on out through uh, just the road work going on at Ballas in the left lane. Then some moderate volume at Lake St. Louis Boulevard. 64 westbound also slowing at Hampton. And we've got volume eastbound 70 headed for Salisbury into downtown. If you take the express lanes, it'll take you past some of that. And southbound 270, a little slow, especially ramping on to westbound 70. Then some moderate volume olive through Ladue. And then again from Manchester in pockets down through Gravoy. 55 is slow go south of Loughborough through the construction zone. Again, that kind of comes and goes. It's not a parking lot. We are quiet through North County. We're seeing some volume now lined up headed for the Poplar Street Bridge. But by the time you get to the bridge itself, it's fine. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. It's 357 at 97.1 St. Louis is home for conservative talk. Sponsored by Ashley Furniture. Fall is almost here, and at Ashley, seasonal decorating is a breeze. Snuggle up on a sectional or ultra-modern sofa. Gather outside with a new fire pit or conversation set. Ashley has everything you'll need. Shop in-store or visit ashley.com today. With the Wholesale Formula Seminar, find out how to start your own Amazon business. This is Nick Chouquette. I lost a lot of money on a failed landscaping business and had to move in with my dad. After attending the Wholesale Formula Seminar, I went from having no job to a million dollars in revenue 
revenue on Amazon just two years later. Hi, it's Emrick Manello. When I first immigrated to the United States, I had no idea how I was going to earn a living. I attended the Wholesale Formula Seminar and my first year on Amazon, I did over 700,000 in sales. My name is Jeremiah Holbrook. I've sold over $10 million on Amazon thanks to what I learned from the Wholesale Formula. Whether you have a business and want to sell more on Amazon, retired or just need extra money, America's Amazon expert Dylan Frost will show you how. Attend Dylan's live in-person seminar for only $49.99 guaranteed or your money back. That's right. Discover the easy way to make money with Amazon. Meet Dylan Frost at the Wholesale Formula live two-hour seminar Saturday, September 30th, 11 a.m. at Aviator Hotel, Lindbergh Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri. Register at thewholesaleformula.com. Men, if you're struggling with erectile dysfunction or PE, the medical providers at Paramount Men's Medical Center offer breakthrough treatments that eliminate problems in the bedroom without pain or surgery. Listen to a specialist in men's health. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Paramount Men's Medical Center offers the most advanced treatments to eliminate ED and PE. 98% of men experience instant results on their first office visit. They're even lasting 90 minutes or longer, regardless of age or medical history. Don't just take our word for it. Call Paramount Men's Medical Center now for our limited time offer. Your initial consultation and first treatment are completely free. You'll see instant results right in the office. You'll even get a gift that enhances your performance in the bedroom. All this, worth hundreds of dollars, is free if you call now. 314-720-8081. 314-720-8081. That's 314-720-8081. Got something to say? Say it here. You've landed on the place for ideas. 97.1 FM Talk. Right here, right now. Tune into the Dell Wamsley Radio Show. Dell, self made millionaire and founder of Lifestyles Unlimited, will show you how to live the life of your dreams and pay for it with passive income. Listen to the Dell Wamsley Radio Show this Saturday afternoon from 1 to 2 p.m. on 97.1 FM Talk. KFTK FM Florissant. From the Under Law Injury Lawyers, get Jim.com Studio, 971 FM Talk. Always live on the free Odyssey app. For the border, Lisa Brady, Fox News. Members of Congress visiting Eagle Pass, Texas, where thousands of migrants have been crossing illegally in recent days. To end this border crisis, we must end the progressive fantasies that ignore the law and ignore the will of the American people. New York Republican Congressman Brandon Williams says there aren't enough resources to manage migrant encounters and go after the gotaways. Texas Republican Congressman Nathaniel Moran urging a bipartisan focus on border security as part of budget talks on Capitol Hill. We get caught up way too much day to day in the short term and in the small arguments. We need to look long term and understand if we do not fix this problem and reverse this trend, we're going to see this invasion continue. An official says the Defense Department has authorized sending more active duty troops in supporting logistical roles to free up more border agents. This as the president ramps up pressure on Republicans to avoid a government shutdown. Funding the government is one of the most basic fundamental responsibilities of the Congress. And if the Republicans in the House don't start doing the job, we should stop electing them. At a meeting with his advisory board on historically black colleges and universities, the president saying a shutdown would disproportionately impact the black community with nutrition services for pregnant women and newborns among the programs potentially impacted. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has supported efforts to work out a short-term funding bill. Well, you have to keep the government open. I mean, if people want to close the government, it only makes it weaker. But he faces several Republican holdouts pushing for full appropriations bills and deeper spending cuts. The president hits a picket line tomorrow in support of striking auto workers. A day before, former President Trump also visits Michigan. He's in South Carolina today. It's no wonder that far left lunatics are getting desperate to stop our movement by any means necessary. Calling all the criminal charges against him phony as he prepares to skip the second Republican primary debate on Wednesday. America is listening to Fox News. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. Every year, more than 4 million pets enter shelters here in the United States. My friends at American Humane have been helping animals since 1877. The goal is to ensure that pets have a safe shelter, especially during natural disasters. Adopting a shelter pet allows shelters to help more animals awaiting care. Please consider adopting today and take some time to learn more about American Humane's other work at AmericanHumane.org. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take Zequil. 
ZQL, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non-habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQL nights. Explore our products at ZQL.com. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Air Comfort Service, heating, cooling, and insulation, weather. Chief Meteorologist Dave Murray. Plenty of sunshine with us on this Monday afternoon. 82 for the high, a little bit above average. Tonight, partly to mostly clear. 70s for evening plans. 62 Tuesday, partly sunny. Just a slight chance of a spot shower in the afternoon. Tuesday, 85. Much the same on Wednesday. Full moon is this week on Friday. It's known as the full harvest moon. This is 97.1 FM Talk. Chief Meteorologist Dave Murray. I'm Jennifer Kashinka with Your Money Now. Hollywood writers, studios, and streamers have reached a tentative agreement that would end a strike that started in May. The new three-year deal includes several hard-fought victories for the writers, including increased royalties, mandatory staffing for TV writing rooms, and protections regarding the use of artificial intelligence. The Writers Guild of America says it's still finalizing the agreement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Falling freight volumes are testing the staffing strategy strategies at railroads that were struggling to hire workers not too long ago. Union Pacific recently broke ranks with rival operators by furloughing more than 100 rail yard workers. Norfolk Southern and CSX say they don't plan to furlough workers the way they would during previous downturns, but weak volumes have prompted railroads to slow their hiring. On Wall Street, futures are slightly lower. After stocks closed lower on Friday, the Dow Industrials fell 106, the Nasdaq slipped 12. That's your money now. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you know that these days, generating growth is a challenge. By teaming with Bank of America, you'll not just stay ahead of the curve, you'll move it. With access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash bankingforbusiness to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2023, Bank of America, N.A. You can host the best backyard barbecue. When you find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Critical thinking in critical times. This is St. Louis's home for conservative talk. 97.1 FM Talk. Everyone is welcome. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely on advertisements. The verdict is in. STL Today is named under law 2023's best St. Louis law firm. Thank you, St. Louis, and we vow to continue our mission to not only deliver exceptional results, but to change the way companies do business and make St. Louis a safer place, one case at a time. When you're injured, you need the best. Call Under Law at 314 or 618 9 million. MLBShop.com has everything you need to rep the team you believe in, the players you love, and the community you come from. So snag all those hoodies, caps, jerseys, and swag, and wear your pride with style at home, on the streets, and wherever you go. And with exclusive offers every day, you can unapologetically strut your stuff for a price you love as much as your team. Visit MLBShop.com, the official online shop of Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. St. Louis Bi-State summers are hot, humid, and can be deadly. Heat can even fry an egg on a sidewalk. For many seniors and the disabled, income goes to rent, medicine, and groceries, often with nothing left to pay utility bills. Please help seniors keep the air on, and let's check on neighbors. CoolDownStLouis.org can also help Missouri and Illinois qualified neighbors with utility bills. Get help. Give help at CoolDownStLouis.org. Mark Cox here. Join me, Mark Reardon, and Annie Fry, along with Thomas Helbig and Bob Kershaw of the Retirement Advisory Group for the last Protecting Your Retirement educational event of the year. Tuesday, October 3rd at the Frontenac Hilton at 630. Seats are limited, so go online to RetirementKey.com. Here's Thomas with more. Are you nearing retirement and wondering if you'll 
be able to live the same lifestyle as you are now? Do you worry about losing your nest egg in the next big market correction? Did you know if you're 59 and a half or older, you can roll over your company retirement plan tax-free to protect your nest egg from any more losses and provide more income than most investment options? Would you like to know why linking to the market is so much safer than owning the market? You'll get all the answers and more. If you're 59 and a half or older, you don't want to miss this last event of the year. Protect your retirement nest egg. Join the official financial advisors of my show, Thomas Helbig and Bob Kershaw, Tuesday, October 3rd at the Frontenac Hilton at 630. Go online to retirementkey.com. That's retirementkey.com. To have a roof over your head, a nice roof over your head is very important. That's Rick talking about his experience with Rhino Shield ceramic coating. We got Rhino Shield 18 years ago and they're very cooperative on getting us the right paint. They're in and out and done in no time. Once it was finished, looked great. We were very happy with it. The main reason Rick called Rhino Shield is because it's backed by a 25-year transferable warranty. We've watched a lot of people get their house painted three or four times. We haven't had to do any of it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to have to paint it every five, seven years. Take a tip from Rick and put down the paintbrush and call Rhino Shield for your free evaluation. 877-25-RHINO. 877-25-RHINO or visit 877-25-RHINO.com. We got Rhino Shield 18 years ago. Financially makes sense, especially if it's going to last like this did. It still looks great. Call now, 877-25-RHINO or 877-25-RHINO.com. Don't paint, don't rhino, go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Hey guys, Glover here for my friends Mark and Neil Gelman from the GelmanTeam.com. If you want immediate cash for your home or to see what your home is actually worth in today's market, find out for free from the local experts. That's my friends Mark and Neil Gelman at the GelmanTeam.com. Conservative solutions, objective conclusions. For news and opinion, this is St. Louis's home for conservative talk. 971 FM Talk. This hour of the Mark Reardon Show is sponsored by Gamma Tree Experts. Your trees deserve the best care. Call Gamma Tree Experts. You're listening to the Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. You know, my favorite time of this show is when we get to this time because Sue's News is coming up just around the corner. But I, I'm scrolling through some social media stuff and I didn't realize it's National Daughters Day. I did not know this. So I have the best daughter in the world, and she was home this weekend, so I got to see that. So happy National Daughters Day, Megan Elam. I love you very much, and please be safe while you're driving back to college. So wanted to make sure that that we got that in today. Found out that Fred had this uh, booming time. He <laughs> His weekend was a blast. We we can just keep going oh, with these, please can't don't. you? And you Fred, will. how and was we- the fireworks show? <laughs> So Saturday night and Saturday afternoon, I went out to, um, it was Wright City. Innsbruck. Kind of like in Innsbruck for the uh, championship fireworks show. Now, how did you find out about this? Well, you're in the I news had... organization. Of <laughs> okay, course. let me explain no, something to you, Mark. my knew about it. And, yeah, and people, about it. people tell Fred and invite Fred to the most incredible things. Well, he because doesn't he's find Fred. out. Exactly. He's yeah. just Fred. He's it's Fred like, Bottenheimer. Well, yes. When and, you, yes. And about 10,000 of my closest friends were there as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. So it was no secret. There were 10,000 people. How did I miss that? Wow. In this huge farm. Or I guess it was oh, wait, a farm. It was wait, a so it wasn't in Innsbruck? I'm confused. It was right on the outskirts of oh, Innsbruck okay. and Wright City. It was kind of like somewhere in the middle. They had this huge plot of land where everyone sat up. It was like a you know our version of Burning Man. It was just exploding <laughs> man sort of. You know, <laughs> I don't know there what were Burning bands. Man is. What's Burning that Man? That was the the event that was out in in you, you um, didn't Utah see that? that got all muddy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, Burning were, Man uh, is a just a concert. dumpster fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, but there were bands, there were food trucks. Oh, um, wow. Just everybody Fred. showed up at 2 o'clock. The, the fireworks didn't go off till 7.30. How many was drones did you say? They had 600 drones that wow. performed in the middle. Wow. And that was almost as amazing as the fireworks show. And these were, you know, these weren't just regular fireworks. They, You know, the first part of the show was... The program where the three competitors could only use shells that you could get at a stand, a fireworks stand. Okay. At the end of the show, were the three professionals that um, had shells that you couldn't get anywhere else. They were special, 
So like at, at Fair St. Louis, you'd use an eight inch shell, if that means anything. That was the biggest explosion you could have. Okay. It was from an eight inch shell. These were 16 inch shells. Oh, oh wow. wow. So it Fred, was really That's huge. almost double. Did, and, you, and loud. <laughs> did you need like earplugs? No. I mean, no? no not, so you couldn't really tell all. that it was loud. Uh-huh. It was just and, that uh, much cooler. The first part of them were all choreographed to music, and it, it was great. Wow. It was amazing. Something I never knew about. And apparently everybody knew about it because they were all there. The pictures are amazing. And just to be able to, I mean, he's got pictures of ships and things like that that the fireworks make in the sky. It was the drones. It's amazing. The drones made the yeah. ships. Wow. And they were doing dragons. Uh, and it was really pretty cool. So yeah, that's neat. Fireworks Championship coming up next year, Wright City. Make sure you don't Missouri miss it. Missouri Pyrotechnics Association, I think is what it's called. Interesting. They, but they called it Sky Wars. Uh, Sky <laughs> Wars. I love that. I love hey, that let's too. get to uh, Sue's news. These allegations are deeply concerning. Does the president have any comment? We're not going to comment. It's not clear messaging. No, 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 no. And now, Sue's News. Sponsored by Mr. Appliance. Speedy expert service. MrAppliance.com. Did anybody, I did not watch football yesterday, but the Dolphins, I know, the Dolphins beat the Broncos 70 to 20. They did. It was a beat down. What in the heck? And and I left A-Chain on my bench, which is something I can ask Frank Cusimano about later on this hour. Wow and wow. Yeah, this 50 was points. The most points by one team since 1966. Wow. The fourth 70-point game in NFL history, including the playoffs. I, I have no idea how the Dolphins got so good, but all of a sudden, they've just Dang. been killing it. Yeah, I, I just, when I saw that today, I thought, what, what? The record is 73 points. The Dolphins gained 726 yards, which is the new record in the Super Bowl era. Oh, I bet they could have beat the record, too, because they pulled their starters. Yeah, I didn't see it, so I'm wondering, did they ease up at all? They They had to have. Well, it's it's like in the uh, Chiefs game uh, yesterday. They pulled Patrick Mahomes basically the beginning of the fourth quarter. And they were up, well, they were up 41 to nothing. I mean, there's no And they didn't want to get anybody hurt. So it's like, yeah, let's pull him. I couldn't believe that the Dolphins kept playing. (laughs) Right? Uh, They also, they're they're also the only team in modern NFL history to record five rushing touchdowns and five passing touchdowns in a single game. Crazy. That would have been nuts to see. It's one of those games of if you didn't play, you're not going to. Exactly. Right? (laughs) And then Fred sent me this, you know, my beloved Steelers. A charter plane carrying the Steelers home from Las Vegas was forced to make an emergency stop in Kansas City. The plane landed at KCI Airport uh, just before 4 a.m. They had some sort of engine issue. No. What? I I don't think they did. You know why they really landed. No, no, Yes, yes, that's what it is. is The Steelers had to stop and see Taylor Swift. That's what it was. The The Swifties, Uh they just, they had to do it. The team does say that all 182 (laughs) people on board are safe. A new plane would take them home on today. They had to get a whole new plane. Oh, wow. Uh, Steelers veteran Cam Hayward, though, tweeted that the team might need a ride from Travis Kelsey and (laughs) T-Swifty. Oh, boy. I knew it was coming. And, of course, course Mark Reardon sent me a a statement about... uh, 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 Taylor Swift and Kelsey this morning, which I will not be sharing, but it was something <laughs> like, you know, he still thinks they're uh, pretending just to annoy people. Well, I think they're doing it just for media coverage because uh-huh. well, it, yeah. it helps them both blow up and makes them both super she, famous. She needs that help. I know, because oh, yeah. no one really yeah. knows who she is. I mean, since she's really not right? a country artist anymore, yeah, she's really fallen off the map. It's a shame. Yeah. Today no is one hit wonder day. Yay! Now, this is besides uh, Daughter Day, and Fred found this out and uh, thankfully helped me out. Uh, huge one hit wonders include things like Dexie's Midnight Runners, but this classic, Come On Eileen. No idea what they're saying. Now. I, Do you got anything? I, well, we got come on, Eileen. That's, right that's before that, all I get. Yeah, I got Other, that. I don't yeah. really listen up to I, that. Yeah. I know Eileen is not a real person. 
Okay. Uh, the songwriter said it was a composite of people. Oh, a composite I started of to the say ladies. that. It was so mean, Fred, yeah. to just <laughs> dismiss her so like not. that. Eileen's not a real person. <laughs> She's fine. And She's just, you know. It was written to make a point about what they called Catholic repression. Oh. Really? Okay. Yeah. Never would have got that. I thought she Catholic just didn't repression. have a... Uh, a foot. So uh, uh, this classic we hear, uh, although one hit wonder at pretty much every ball game, or at least we did the year it came out and well beyond that. This is Gary Glitter. It's Baja Men. Baja mm-hmm. Men, yes. You will know it when you hear yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not a surprise that that was a one hit wonder to me. I'm yeah. not going to. Well, I mean, with, with lyrics like that. Right. It, and I think that was about. Uh, Catholic repression as well. <laughs> That's what I That heard. was getting back to that. No. That was, no. no? Uh, oh, Fred knows. Who let the dogs out is what people say um, to each other. Like when someone, like a big person is saying something really crazy or just goes off on something, people will lean over to each other and say, who let the dogs, the dogs out? out? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So under your breath thing to Fred say. Fred is all over this. That. That's why that. Fred is here. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to skip the uh, next one because it bothers me so much. What I was know. it, though? I wanted oh. to know. You don't have to play it. I just want to know. All right, hit it. Oh, inquiring it's minds. It's Del Rio. Oh, Macarena. Mm-hmm. I just can't. Sorry, we can move on. I okay. just, I just want. You I didn't have to play can't. it. You could have just said. And it. you know, we... Fred is dying to tell us what this is. Fred's already done uh, the dance. Macarena what? is yeah. a uh, Spanish name for a female. Uh huh. So Supposedly, be... this 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 song was actually rather dirty. Is it that true? A, Fred, well, were you going to tell us that? I think it was about a girlfriend who cheated on her boyfriend twice while he was gone. Oh. I, I heard that something that, like, put, hey, it's not a fun maybe. party song, actually, if you knew the words. Now, but I, I don't, so it was fine. I actually like the number one hit wonder of all time. What is that? Aha. Uh-huh. Oh. The most inscrutable video, but yes, we love it. Yeah, I never, I will never forget that video because it was yeah. kind of a, yeah. a Tron cartoon. Yeah. He breaks out, yeah. he becomes a real person, and I'm like, yeah, okay. And this, by the way, is Rolling Stone uh, saying it's the one hit wonder of all time. Fred, of course, you've read about it. What, what's up? Um, the band is from Norway. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, let's see, what can I think about it? It's um, the singer is actually challenging. Uh, a woman that he likes to start a relationship with him. Oh, isn't That's that what nice? Take on me. Isn't that nice? Thank I you. thought he wanted to wrestle. I, you know, <laughs> you think they do. Me on. Oh, oh yeah. it's it. Okay. Uh, thank you to Fred for all this help and <laughs> information job. today. Oh, huh? you're welcome. Oh, yeah. I'm practicing for being you the rest of the week. <laughs> 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 and Fred, it was stellar. I, ha- I have high hopes. Great. Over the weekend, Ethiopian runner, did you just smashed a woman's <laughs> marathon world record. She ran that thing. Now, this is 26.2 miles wow. in just 2 hours, 11 minutes, and 53 seconds. To put this in perspective, now, she beat the uh, other record by 2 minutes. She mm. ran this thing 2 minutes faster than the world record. I, now, I, I haven't driven it that fast. I, I, I'm going <laughs> to tell you that I, the best, the best half marathon, <laughs> marathon i ever read, uh, ran was more than double that yes wow. uh-huh mine was 236 or something that's this a 5k woman for me ran <laughs> two hours 11 minutes jeez and that's that running is nuts that is so i'm i'm getting ready to MC the mo cowbell on oh, October first, oh, awesome. so that that's coming up October first at the St. Charles Riverfront with the uh, St. Charles EDC, and we will have some people who run their very first marathon. Oh, that's exciting! It, it is not. We will yes, send them is. off. No, it is not. Okay. When you're the MC oh. and and you send them off at seven thirty, oh. and at two forty five in the oh. afternoon, you were waiting for them to return. Yeah. You're like, God love you for having a professional, yeah. a personal best. We're very happy for you, but However, we'd all like to go home and watch football now. Uh, oh. I'm so, so sorry about if, that. If they did it in two hours, that would be amazing. Yeah. I'd be home for lunch. Yeah, guess what? It's They're not, not going to. It's not going to happen. No. No. Uh, I wanted, to, I've got some stories and we're running out of time because of that. Uh, hold on. All right. Here we go. That's I, all right. Brad Young can wait. Okay. I'm going to mention this. 
There was a story over the week. This is one of the most bizarre stories I've seen in a while. A female airport security worker in the Philippines was caught on camera eating paper money she stole from a passenger. What? what? Okay. She was she had taken 300 bucks they think from a Chinese traveler and had stuffed it kind of in her shirt and she went off to the side to eat it. She had a, a bottle of water, but she was right by a camera and she would pull it out of her shirt and kind of fold it up and and it's on camera of her chewing and kind of swigging and swallowing this stuff. This yin is yummy. I mean, <laughs> Ew. Sorry. They think she swallowed 300 bucks. That's crazy. Why? Workers, uh, it, it's just because she's stealing it. It's going to come out. <laughs> the Abby. Yes. No, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. Brain. Sorry. What sorry, goes in does come out. That's, I agree. Uh, yeah. I guess sorry. I was imagining her eating it in little pieces. Yeah, I don't mm. know. I'm afraid that's not what happened. And workers at a car wash in Indiana were cleaning off the grill of a woman's car after she hit a bird. Poor thing. I've had that happen where they're like, Wah! right there on the front. I feel terrible, but they're <laughs> gone. I picked up a client once in my <laughs> bird, and I felt it was not good. Anyway, my point is this. When they went in there to get the bird out, they found a groundhog stuck in her front bumper who was still alive. What? So the groundhog, I'll show you the picture. The groundhog, they have a picture of them. You know, they're in there trying to get out the bird. There's a groundhog head doing this. Hey! <laughs> so they got, they this, got the groundhog out too. Where was this person driving? I <laughs> like come on. Now I don't it can't think be the regular she, street. She did not hit the groundhog. I think he had crawled up there like a cat. Oh, he to crawled get up warm, to get the bird, or or to get the bird. <laughs> uh, workers at a Jiffy Lube next door managed to get him out. That's great. And he's okay. And they did it for free. Isn't that a nice story? It's a free. It's a freebie. You That's understand. a freebie. You can see, Fred, why I was like, well, I got to get these in. Okay. <laughs> Sue's News brought to you by Mr. Appliance, speedy expert service, MrAppliance.com. We love the people at Mr. Appliance. All right. I'll do a short random fact for today. Okay. It takes approximately 540 peanuts to make one 12-ounce jar of peanut butter. 540 peanuts to make one 12 ounce jar of peanut butter. Do you know what's funny? Fred knew that. Of course, he's, <laughs> he he's gazing I'm, off. I'm into gazing the, off. I'm just uh, trying to picture. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? Or 40. Would I, think I, think, be... I think 12 ounces, Fred. I think it works out. You could try it. That's a small oh. jar of peanut butter. You could just make your own. Yeah, it's 12 ounces. But uh, uh, I'm just tra- saying, that's, not... that's a lot of peanuts for that. Oh, well, yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, not Trader Joe's. Where's the place you can make it? Maybe it is Trader Joe's. No. World, uh, what, yeah, well, uh, World Market? No. World no. Foods? Or, uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Yeah. Good grief. Exactly. All right, and there it is. That's it for Sue's <laughs> News. Wow. Uh, P.S., I'll find you the picture of the groundhog. And and we'll post that later. <laughs> it's yeah. it's going to be fun. I told you it's my favorite part of the show for many reasons, but Sue has great stories, Fred has amazing knowledge, and I'm just here to be wowed by all of it. Uh, Speaking of wowing, Brad Young is going to come up and wow us uh, on the other side of this break. Just the hits never stop. You know, they just keep coming, just like the one-hit wonders uh, that we will. We're not playing Take On Me as we go out, are we? Thank God. I hate that flipping song. Anyway, it's Mike Elam in for Mark Reardon today. He will be back tomorrow. And this is always 97.1 FM Talk. A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. Westbound 70. If you are taking that uh, out of downtown, it actually looks okay. But it's pretty slow just in front of the airport, in front of uh, Lambert. And then things open up and look much better out west. A little slow at Wentzville. 6440 is slow go. Hampton out through McCausland. And then approaching Lindbergh out through the work zone at Ballas. Moderate volume at Lake St. Louis Boulevard. 70 westbound, a little bit slow headed for Forestell as well. I should bring that up. Southbound 270, slow pockets anywhere from Olive down through Doherty Ferry and again at Gravoy. Southbound 55 slowing at the 44 split. Then you get a break and more volume in the construction zone headed down toward Lindbergh. 
Eastbound 70 jams at Salisbury headed into downtown. Things look fine on the Poplar Street Bridge, but there's a little bit of a slowdown headed for the bridge. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. It's 427 at 97.1 St. Louis is home for conservative tone. Brought to you by Scott Lee Heating. Scott Lee Heating's premier dealer distinction means you'll be working with the best the industry offers. Learn more about our special savings opportunities on Lennox products by calling 314-756-9444 or visit us online at scottleeheating.com. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-652-5241 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-652-5241. That's 800-652-5241. What do you have to lose? Call 800-652-5241. Again, 800-652-5241. Hey, friends, it's Annie, and I brought my friend Stewie from Stewart's American Mortgage in here to talk about a problem that I know a lot of you listeners are facing right now, mounting credit card debt. Everything is costing more. It's getting impossible to get ahead. And you need a solution, and you need someone to help you do that. That's where Stewie comes in. Stewie, how do you help these folks? Well, Andy, first of all, you folks got to realize that if you're in this situation, you need to do something about it. Stop procrastinating. It's only going to get worse. These credit card rates, 30%, 20%. Cash flow is being tightened. You know what's going on with inflation. Don't sit around and look at the sky and say, hey, you know, I'll just worry about it and deal with it later. Take advantage now. Refinance now. Consolidate that debt. Improve your cash flow and help your credit scores when rates go down we'll refinance you for free stewie's right don't let another day go by without addressing this problem head on and stewie has a solution for you you just need to make the phone call or send the text 314-324-4440 that's 314-324-4440 you can google the bagel loan to find out more and mls number 226715 on the battlefield there's a saying america's military men and women live by never leave a fallen warrior behind ever Off the battlefield, Wounded Warrior Project operates with the same goal. Wounded Warrior Project was created to help our men and women returning home with the scars of war, whether those scars are physical or mental. Wounded Warrior Project, we never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. Learn more about what we do at woundedwarriorproject.org. Are you the parent of a two to seven year old? Listen closely for an exciting free radio offer. By now you've probably heard of ABC Mouse, the Parents Choice Award winning online learning program that's actually changing the lives of early learners everywhere. ABC Mouse is like a little one-on-one teacher. It has helped her so much. Right now we're offering a special radio promo to try it free for a month, but you have to go to abcmouse.com slash radio to claim your free month. That's abcmouse.com slash radio. Sponsored by Age of Learning. If you're hiring, it can feel like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. You can hope the right person comes along, or you can just use ZipRecruiter. And now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. In fact, ZipRecruiter has helped a lot of business owners find their needle in a haystack. Like Marco, president of operations at Telly Tires and Auto Centers. Because Telly Tires has grown a lot in the last few years, Marco needed to hire everyone from a receptionist to a store manager to a head mechanic. ZipRecruiter helps me find all the right people, even the most difficult jobs to fill. ZipRecruiter helps me keep my business running. Take it from Marco and millions of other businesses who've used ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter can help you find the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash R-A-D-I-O. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. It's time for a $98 furnished tune-up. This portion of the Mark Reardon Show brought to you by Jerry Kelly Heating and Air Conditioning. Want to listen to 97.1 outside the listening area? There's an app for that. Download the Odyssey app and one tap will turn the station on. The Odyssey app for 97.1 FM Talk.
on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. When I'm is from myself. It is the Mark Reardon Show. My name is Mike Elam. Sitting in for Mark today. Mark will be back tomorrow, though. And he's got an all-star lineup. He always has an all-star lineup. Uh, and speaking of all-stars, so a guy who you hear here on a regular basis is a guy who gets called to come work here even when he's not called to come work here. And that is Brad Young. Brad, how are you today? Well, Mike, you you, you call me a, an all-star, and yet didn't I hear just a few minutes ago you said, oh, Brad can wait. Well, it's because, Brad can wait. But you'll uh, appreciate the fact it's because Sue was doing her part. Well, see, you didn't let me finish. Oh, I sorry. would wait for no one other than for Sue Thomas. See, and that's exactly why I had to say, well, Brad can wait because it is Sue. And let's... I'll wait I'll wait for Sue Thomas anytime, not a See, problem. See, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being a team player. Like I said, even when you're not filling in, we still call you to be a part of filling in. So it, <laughs> it just goes to Great. show whenever I've got a question, you're the guy who I always come back and and talk about. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about cuz I reached out to Fred when I saw this story about the uh, St. Louis County family who got the $745 million verdict for the uh, crash that involved Whippet. And I thought, wait, I didn't hear anything about this. Now, granted, it's not, you know, the, the level of Taylor Swift comes to a football game, I guess. And that's why media wouldn't cover something like this. Jesting, of course. But I, I was like, wait. How did this happen? When did this happen? And how did I miss it? And I was hoping, being the lawyer extraordinaire and on top of every legal case that happens in the nation, you would be able to help me figure out a little <laughs> bit of how do you turn a crash into $745 million? A, a, a couple of ways. First of all, this, this award came out uh, within the last two weeks. And what the plaintiff's attorneys here did was truly phenomenal, because if, if you remember, uh, there, there was uh, the, the facts here was that a person was huffing this stuff called Whippet, which is a gas. It's supposed to be used for uh, shaving cream and whipped cream, uh, but it's sold in head shops. It's sold, it's sold as something to use as a recreational drug even though that's not what it is. Right. And so the individual was high on this, crashed into the store, uh, actually was into a uh, total access urgent care. Mm. And, and so what the plaintiff's attorneys did was they went out and bought, this was right before the case uh, ended, they went out and bought cases and cases of this Whippet, kept their receipts, showed that this product was still being sold, that kids were still using it, and they also demonstrated where it was purchased. It wasn't purchased to refill shaving cream cans. It was being purchased at facilities that sell tobacco products, uh, products that, that are used in conjunction with smoking marijuana, and it's basically used to get high in a legal way. And it angered the jury. And the jury in this instance uh, basically, in fact, I think it was the plaintiff's attorney said in closing argument that the jury needed to make a clear statement uh, big enough to put this company out of business. And they rendered a, a verdict of $745 million. Now, having said that, we can certainly go through that in a moment, but there is no way uh, that the plaintiffs will ever even see anything close to that amount because of the way punitive damages are handled in Missouri, but it definitely sends a message. So what do you think they're actually going to end up? Well, I should I should pause before I ask you that question. So you get a verdict like this, and uh, I'm not saying they don't deserve $745 million. That's, that's not for me to make that call. But um, what is the next step in the process? I'm assuming there's going to be an appeal. Well, yes, yeah, so there is appeal. And in all of these types of cases, uh, Mike, what happens is, is that the, the uh, determination on appeal has to be that the punitive damage uh, award was done with deliberate and flagrant disregard to the safety of others. In other words, the activity that's being punished has to be a flagrant disregard for the safety of others. Now, when you apply it to these facts, I think they could show that. This product is being sold and intentionally being marketed in a way that goes against what the stated use of the product is. So I think that could be shown. 
but Missouri has an interesting punitive damage award statute and that it's limited to five times the compensatory damages in this instance. And once that happens, half of the entire punitive damage award goes to the state of Missouri. They have something called a tort victims fund that helps the victims of crime uh, in Missouri. And so even once you get through all of this uh, uh, statutory regulation on punitive damages, half of it goes to the state. So at the end of the day, uh, certainly this number is going to come down. And once that number comes down, even then only half goes to the plaintiffs and half goes to serve all of uh, crime victims tort fund who are injured by crime in the state of Missouri. So how long before we actually see this played out and done done? Oh, this will be this will be probably at, at least 12 to 18 months from now because okay. it has to go up to appeals. It's probably going to go to the Supreme Court uh, of Missouri, not to the U.S. Supreme Court. Right. And uh, and at that point, they're going to the uh, the defendants are going to challenge or rather the plaintiffs are going to challenge uh, this whole punitive damage cap thing. And this has already been decided. In fact, the, the Missouri legislature, Mike, on, on several couple of occasions have put these limitations on punitive damages. And the Missouri Supreme Court has struck them down as being unconstitutional. So I'm sure that's going to be challenged again. And, uh, you know, we're a long way from closure on this case. Well, we'll have you back to get a wrap up and see how all that plays out. But before I've only got about a minute and a half here uh, before I need to jump to Frank Cusimano. But I wanted to ask you real quick, these Senator uh, uh, Mendez charges that are going on. This guy is just amazing to me. He finds so many ways to get into trouble because he did it when he was in the House. And then he's going to turn right around and say, well, there's nothing to see here. Yeah. And well, first of all, I got I got to tell you, Mike, there's no truth to the rumor uh, that Senator Menendez is going to be the next villain in a James Bond remake of Goldfinger. I mean, that is <laughs> that is a that is a false rumor. There's it's no a cheap version that. called Gold Bar. Gold Bar. Exactly. Uh, but listen, I know I know you got to wrap this up, but uh, 39 ca- uh, page indictment. Three different charges. He could serve up to 45 years in in prison. Uh, it's very detailed, very explicit, and uh, and this will make for a very interesting trial. It really sounds like they've got a lot of information they that do. that they, they have do. well researched and sourced. And he he's going to have a hard time walking away from this. But listen, the the money was found in envelopes that marked Senator Menendez. <laughs> Uh, his 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 DNA and fingerprints were on the gold bars, for goodness sakes, as was the, the DNA and fingerprints of the agents of the Egyptian government who gave him the bribe. So, yeah, there's a there's a whole lot of uh, very compelling evidence here. I, I just can't wait to see how this one turns out. This this guy just I shouldn't just say this guy. It's it's the egos that live in Washington, D.C. that yes. never cease to amaze me of they go, no, no, no. Uh, I make, what, $185,000 a year, something like that, and that's why I can have $7 million in my bank account. Wait, what? I'm from Arkansas, but I don't think that math even works there. It's it's just (laughs) crazy. Brad Young, thank you, as always, uh, for being a great resource, and we appreciate you. My pleasure, Mike. Good to talk to you. So Brad Young filling us in on that. Frank Cusimano is on the other side of the break. We are going to talk to him. So much is going on in St. Louis sports right now. And almost all of it good. Wayno, uh, the soccer team is doing fantastic. Mizzou is 4-0. There's a ton to talk to him about. We will do that on the other side. It's the Mark Reardon Show. My name is Mike Elaman for Mark Today on 97.1 FM Talk. A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. Not a bad commute at this hour, but we do have construction out there causing a little bit of a delay. 6440 westbound lines up Kings Highway out through McCausland, but there's road work at Ballas in the left lane that's causing a delay that goes just east of Lindbergh. And then out west, some moderate volume at Lake St. Louis Boulevard. 70 westbound, moderate volume at Jennings Station. We had a little bit past the airport, and now it's slowing. It looks like just east of 370 there in both directions. That could be road work. 
If it's an accident, uh, it's just causing a brief delay in both directions, and then things open up. Now, it looks like southbound 270 just has moderate volume, but it stretches from Olive down through Gravoy, and 55 is slowing through the southern half of the work zone, and that starts south of Loughborough. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. It's 442 at 97.1, St. Louis' is home for conservative talk. Sponsored by Mosby Building Arts. Kitchen with the wrong company. Apparently, their estimate didn't include plumbing or electric, but they were the cheapest. Don't have remodeling regret? Call Mosby Building Arts. Mosby plans ahead, so there are no surprises later on. Mosby Building Arts, the right remodeling company. Mark Cox here. If you're nearing retirement or already retired, call my friends Thomas Helbig and Bob Kershaw with the Retirement Advisory Group. They'll show you how to link to the market without the risk. They're the official financial advisors of my show. Go online to retirementkey.com. Hey, guys. Glover here with my video. Very, very good friend, Dr. Kathy Maupin at BiobalanceHealth.com. If you have reached that certain age and you're just not feeling very well and nothing's working the way it used to work, go see Dr. Kathy. She is not only a medical doctor, she is a patient of this bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. It absolutely works. It's a long-term solution. She is an artist when it comes to helping you with your hormones. BiobalanceHealth.com for Dr. Kathy Maupin. St. Louis physician Dr. Abiki created Neovitin 15 years ago to help support his own nutrition when he needed it most. Since then, Neovitin has helped thousands of people support their daily nutrition with sensible doses of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and Dr. Abiki's proprietary blend. If you're ready to join many St. Louisans in supporting their nutrition, give Neovitin a try. You can find Neovitin at your local Schnucks, Deerbergs, and online at neovitin.com. Is your oven freezing cold and your fridge running hot? Holy call Hoffman Brothers! Hoffman Brothers can repair and install any appliance in your home. From dishwashers and refrigerators to washers, dryers, ovens, and more. And if it's just not worth fixing, our techs will help you replace it with a new one and install it right away. With the same great service and satisfaction for over 40 years. So when the clothes won't dry and the dishes won't wash? Holy call Hoffman Brothers! 314-664-3011 or go to hoffmanbros.com. When you're approaching retirement, there are a lot of questions to answer. Do you have enough money to fund your income for life? How should you claim Social Security? And what's your plan for health care and long-term care? Hi, I'm Eric Robert, Director of Investments with the Clear Path Wealth Management Group at Stiefel and host of On the Money, Saturday mornings at 11 on 97.1 FM Talk. Don't leave your retirement to chance. It's crucial to understand and address relevant risks before you retire. Our team can help you get organized, guide you through critical retirement decisions, and create an investment portfolio designed around your needs. To schedule your free retirement plan consultation, go to clearpathinvesting.com. That's clearpathinvesting.com. Or call us at 636-695-2650. That's clearpathinvesting.com or 636-695-2650. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE. Think back to when you started your business. Hopefully you have a smile on your face when you remember how it was back then. But if you're like me, when my brother and I started Acropolis 27 years ago, we were just hanging on. Starting a small business is hard. The pressures often lead to making promises that you hope you can keep. Fast forward to today, just like you, we learned long ago what we were good at and where we should be spending our time and energy. Unfortunately, some think it's easy to start an IT business or bolt it on to another business. At Acropolis, we don't sell copiers. We aren't electricians or accountants. IT management and support isn't our side hustle. It's the only thing we do. There are a lot of immature IT companies out there, and we all know good intentions do not equal good, consistent results. If you aren't happy with IT in your organization and want to work with a business as mature as yours, give us a call. We have helped many of St. Louis's best companies wrap their arms around technology, and we can help you too. Visit us on the web at AcropolisTech.com and let's start a conversation. Acropolis, it's a better way to manage IT. Tony La Russa here. Has your loss of energy and weight gain thrown you a curveball in your relationship? If so, go see my friends over at Victory Men's Health. Discreet first-class professionals will help you hit those curves out of the park. VictoryMensHealth.com. That's VictoryMensHealth.com. Gillette Intimate gives guys a gentle and easy shave on there. And around there. And even under there. Don't treat your groin like junk. 
Respect it with Gillette Intimate, the best a man can get. Buy now at a retailer near you. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-652-5241 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-652-5241. That's 800-652-5241. What do you have to lose? Call 800-652-5241. Again, 800-652-5241. The Mark Cox Morning Show. Merrick Garland defies logic that he wouldn't have any knowledge what his department was doing. If Merrick Garland is asserting that, he is lying. The Mark Cox Morning Show. On St. Louis's home for conservative talk. You're listening to The Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. It's been a fun-filled Monday so far. My name is Mike Elam, sitting in for Mark Reardon today, and I wanted to get immediately over to Frank Cusimano, sports director from KSDK. Frank, how are you, sir? Yes, sir. Good to be with you, Mike. Hope you're doing well, sir. Man, there's so much I want to talk to you about, but I have to ask you first, is Devon A. Chain on your fantasy football team? And if he is, did you start him? <laughs> he is not, but that is just crazy that a third round pick scores four touchdowns and rushes for 200 yards, and 99% of the people in this country don't know who he is. And, and most of the people who even had him on their team were just dying because he was probably on their bench. Yeah, in fact, I think most people also wanted to find out how to pronounce his name. And even Peter King, the great columnist, had to ask him like three times, how do you pronounce this? Did he say A-Chain or did he say it differently? No, I think you got it. Yep. I just remember him from college so because uh, he kept running all over Arkansas every time uh, I would watch. And we're, we are not going to talk about Arkansas, but I want to ask you about Mizzou 4-0. and Huge game. Uh, this past weekend, and even really good shot of being five and zero. Not to say that Vanderbilt's not good, but Vanderbilt's not good. Yeah, it does set up for a couple of weeks down the road to go into that game against LSU, which is now an eleven a game. I thought they'd get a primetime game at night yeah. to be one of the most anticipated Missouri games in a long, long time. But they're a top twenty five team in the country now. And the, my takeaway from Saturday was the St. Louis kids in their backyard, you know, took over the show. Brady Cook was just out of sight from the 76-yard touchdown throw uh, to him just, you know, being fearless, running the football. Luther Burden, 177 yards. Uh, Cody Schrader, the pride of Lutheran South, he goes over 100 again. I mean, how many people wake up this morning and know that Cody Schrader, a Division II player who couldn't get a scholarship offer out of high school, is now leading the SEC in rushing. Wow. What a night for the St. Louis kids. That is awesome. And this is the last weekend for the Cardinals. And it is the last weekend for Adam Wainwright. Do you think we're going to see him do some things like pinch hit, pinch run, things like that? I hope it's that. I mean, if he is walks out to that mound to pitch a game, I may come out of the press box and try to tackle him. I, mean, I think it'd be the worst idea ever. In, in sports, you rarely get an opportunity to go out in style. Ted Williams, final at bat, Fenway Park, a home run, and he ran right to the clubhouse afterwards. Wainwright's last start should be that spectacular seven-inning scoreless outing the, the other night where he won his 200th. You can't get any better than that. Uh, Do I have a problem with him taking an at-bat? That would just be awesome. That would be great. But I don't want him to pitch. It just can't get any better than the way he finished. I agree. I mean, he really walked out, and that's the way you want it to go. But you know he takes so much pride in his hitting. And you know he would love to be that guy to come in and pitch hit at some point over this weekend. (laughs) It would be fun. 
and he he fashions himself as a little better hitter than he really is. But I can remember quite a few times he'd be in the dugout late in games and he'd hold a bat and put a helmet on and stand right next to the manager <laughs> as if to say, Hey, I'm ready. Put me in coach. And I half of it was tongue in cheek because he's, he's got a great personality, but that's the way to go. Have him on, on that Sunday taken at bat and then just get the ovation going in and get the ovation going out. It would be amazing if, if he could crack a home run. I know that would be a, a just storybook ending, but I think that would be amazing, and I would love yeah, to see it that work cool. that way. Hey, uh, St. Louis City, uh, STL City just continues to roll, don't they? Yeah, that was a big victory the other night. It was. It looked like it was headed in the wrong direction in Minnesota. Then they scored two goals in nine minutes. They win it, and their picture is just so amazing. They are up eight points on both Seattle and LAFC with three games to play, uh, there's 16 wins, ties, an MLS expansion team record. Uh, they are going to get a great chance to have home field, you know, throughout the postseason until they get to the championship if they got there. And we know they are a daunting proposition for the opposition at City Park. They really are a good home team. How is the league looking at this team? It, I would assume that league has got to say that is one of our best choices for expansion. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you can't buy a ticket and you have the history of soccer and you had that state-of-the-art stadium, great ownership. Yeah, the, the city, I mean, the MLS, they, you know, look, Commissioner Garber always wanted to come here. We just didn't have the right money people involved as the league started to explode and became much more expensive. And then presto, the Taylor family pops up and it's, this has just been a, a match made in heaven. You know, I think last time I had you on and we talked about it, you talked about the fact that the Taylor family has done everything the way that you wish a professional sports team ownership group would be. They have been everything you could have hoped for. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's like the way they treat their players, too. I mean, they have gourmet chefs. They have this incredible weight room facility and places to play ping pong and take a nap. And, you know, like the, the Taylor family did this, too. Is they just hired like a president of soccer operations right like in the middle of this whole thing. When everything's going great, you wouldn't think like they need any more infrastructure wise. But the Taylor family is really honest that, hey, we hired the sporting director and we helped to hire the coach, but we really don't know the ins and outs of running a soccer team. So they just added somebody else. I mean, they just will, they will cut no corners. It's like their company enterprise. It's always first class. Well, I'm glad that they have our team. I'm glad that we got the chance to spend some time with you. I want to give you 30 seconds though. Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift. Do we care? Uh, I really don't. <laughs> It is wild, though, that that is the, the ultimate power couple. Yeah, that's. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of cutaways of her in the near future because the Chiefs are going to be on every national television game, and it looks like those two are together. I, I think Travis is going to get a lot more endorsement deals. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Right. Well, Frank, we appreciate the time. We will see you on TV later on. Okay, Mike. Thank you so much. That is KSDK Sports Director Frank Cusimano. My name is Mike Elam. We are going to talk to Missouri Lieutenant Governor Mike Keogh on the other side on 97.1 FM Talk. A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. I'm trying to tweet out a, a picture of the groundhog, and it's taking me longer than it should, Abby. But that's all right. This report brought to you by Jerry Kelly Heating and Air Conditioning. And there was an accident on 70 just before 370. And it looks like it's kind of off on the outer road, but it is causing a delay in that area. So if you are traveling on 70, this is an overturned vehicle and it's west of Cave Springs. So if you are traveling in that area, just expect a bit of a slow go. Um, and it looks like it's in both directions out there. So just be aware that it's causing it. It's actually on Veterans Memorial Parkway, and it is closed 
west of Cave Springs. It's an overturned pickup truck, and it, it looks like uh, the pickup truck actually left the roadway. We also have an accident reported west Florissant at Jennings Station, and the usual volume westbound 6440 Hampton out through McCausland, then approaching Lindbergh out through Ballas, southbound 55 slowing at the 44 split, and down headed for Lindbergh in the construction zone. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. It's 457 at 97.1, St. Louis' is home for conservative talk. Hey, but you're doing your stress away deep breathing. No, I'm getting hungry because I smell your ravioli. Because Jerry Kelly came and cleaned our ducts. Purged. This flyer says a Jerry Kelly duct cleaning purges dust allergens and bacterial agents. What now? Time to inhale some chicken. JerryKelly.com. Mark Cox here. Before you sell your home, you should know the facts. What's your home's true value? Which realtor will get you the most money? And as a seller, is the market still in your favor? I spent some time with my friend Gloria Liu with Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty. Here's what she told me. The market is still in the seller's favor. However, these next few months before the holidays represent the last prime time to sell your home. Gloria said everyone knows you can't time the real estate market. However, you can sell your home in the months that are statistically the most profitable to sell real estate. For the past 20 years, Gloria has been successfully selling homes in our area. How's she been so successful? She already has the buyers, which allows her to guarantee to sell your home at your pre-agreed upon price and time frame, or she'll buy it. Call Gloria Lou at 314-325-6888. That's 314-325-6888. Or visit GloriaHasTheBuyers.com. Your garage door is always there for you, rain or shine. Are you taking your garage door for granted? Is it screeching and whining for attention? Trust Overhead Door Company of St. Louis to keep your garage door reliable. Maybe the old weather stripping needs replaced to keep out the cold and hot air. Call Overhead Door Company of St. Louis, trusted here since 1926. For same-day service, call 314-781-5200 and schedule online at overheaddoorstlouis.com. With the Wholesale Formula Seminar, find out how to start your own Amazon business. Hey, I'm Rick Manello. Two years after attending the Wholesale Formula Seminar, I was able to sell my Amazon business for over $400,000. Hi, I'm Amy Sherlock. I attended the Wholesale Formula Seminar to learn how to work from home while raising my son. Today, I do $175,000 in sales per month. Hi, I'm Hillary. Before attending the Wholesale Formula Seminar, I was a school teacher. Today, I work from home selling products on Amazon. Hi, Ian Bauer. My first year averaged 45 thousand dollars a month in sales now i'm at ninety thousand a month and hardly working whether you have a business and want to sell more on amazon retired or just need extra money america's amazon expert dylan frost will show you how attend dylan's live in-person seminar for only 49.99 guaranteed or your money back that's right discover the easy way to make money with amazon meet dylan frost at the wholesale formula live two-hour seminar saturday september 30th 11 a.m at aviator hotel Lindbergh boulevard st louis missouri register at the wholesale formula KFTK FM Florissant from the Under Law Injury Lawyers Get Jim.com Studio 971 FM Talk. Always live on the free Odyssey app. To the deal. I'm Lisa Lacerra, Fox News. President Biden blasting House Republicans as the clock is ticking on a government shutdown. Funding the government is one of the most basic fundamental responsibilities of the Congress. And if Republicans in the House don't start doing the job, we should stop electing them. The president with the comments during a meeting with the Board of, of Advisors on Historically Black Colleges and Universities saying the black community in particular is going to suffer if there's a shutdown. New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez standing defiant after he and his wife were indicted on bribery charges. Not only will I be exonerated, but I still will be the New Jersey's senior senator. The longtime Senate Democrats indictment on bribery charges has brought calls even within his own party for him to step down. Menendez says the cash and gold found in his home were not bribes, but his own withdrawn money. Which I have kept for emergencies and because of the history of my family facing confiscation in Cuba. The allegations have gotten Menendez criticism and a 2024 primary opponent in Democratic Congressman Andy Kim, who said New Jersey deserves better. Menendez asks one thing. Allow for all the facts to be presented. In Newark, New Jersey, 
Gernal Scott, Fox News. A white gunman convicted of killing 23 people at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas in 2019 has agreed to pay more than $5 million to victims of the attack. Patrick Crucius was sentenced to 90 consecutive life sentences in July. Wall Street, the major index, has posted gains as investors look to the Federal Reserve later this week for clarity on interest rates. The Dow up 43, the Nasdaq added 59, the S&P plus 17. Fox News Radio will be providing special coverage of the second Republican primary debate beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, September 27th. Go to foxnewsradio.com to listen and find out more. America's listening to Fox News. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. Every year, more than 4 million pets enter shelters here in the United States. My friends at American Humane have been helping animals since 1877. The goal is to ensure that pets have a safe shelter, especially during natural disasters. Adopting a shelter pet allows shelters to help more animals awaiting care. Please consider adopting today and take some time to learn more about American Humane's other work at AmericanHumane.org. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take ZQuil. ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQuil nights. Explore our products at ZQuil.com. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Air Comfort Service, heating, cooling, and insulation, weather. Chief Meteorologist Dave Murray. Plenty of sunshine with us on this Monday afternoon. 82 for the high, a little bit above average. Tonight, partly to mostly clear. 70s for evening plans. 62 Tuesday, partly sunny. Just a slight chance of a spot shower in the afternoon. Tuesday, 85. Much the same on Wednesday. Full moon is this week on Friday. It's known as the full harvest moon. This is 97.1 FM Talk. Chief Meteorologist Dave Murray. Siding Express can totally transform the look of your home by installing Hardy Shake, Borden Batten, or a stone accent to make it your dream home. Siding Express is an elite preferred James Hardy contractor. Go to SidingExpress.com to schedule a free no obligation consultation today. If you're trying to sell a home, there's only one agent in town that I trust, Mark and Neil Gelman of eXp Realty. My friends Mark and Neil have the best system, options, and strategies to connect you to the best qualified buyers getting your home sold fast and for top dollar. Go to the Gelman team. Team.com. Scott, they're here. Who's here? Our newest deliveries, carpet, carpet tile, luxury vinyl plank, luxury vinyl tiles, sheet vinyl, ceramic, hardwood, and laminate. Of course, and we're fully stocked at both of our locations, 7301 North Lindbergh Boulevard in Hazelwood, Missouri, and 1851 West U.S. Highway 50 in O'Fallon, Illinois. Open seven days a week. Free financing for qualified purchasers. Best, best flooring, best, best selection, selection, best buy, best buy flooring. You've been listening to the very popular Wellness 101 for many years, Saturdays and Sundays on 97.1 FM Talk. We're happy to share that we've expanded the show to four times a week. Yes, four times every weekend. Saturday at 10 a.m., Saturday at 8 p.m., Sunday at 9 a.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. It's the same great show designed to cut through the nonsense and provide you a common sense, science-based strategy for a healthy life. So join TJ and Aaron for Wellness 101. Now, four times a week on 97.1 FM Talk. If you need a new bath or shower, call my friends at Bath Fitter of St. Louis. Mark Cox here. We love our new shower and tub enclosure. It looks fantastic. No demolition, no mess, and a lifetime guarantee. Right now, they're having a sale for 20% off up to $1,000 or zero interest until 2028. That's five years. Call 636-338-1648. That's 636-338-1648. Bath Fitter of St. Louis. Mark Cox here. Join me, Mark Reardon, and Annie Fry, along with Thomas Helbig and Bob Kershaw of the Retirement Advisory Group for the last Protecting Your Retirement educational event of the year. Tuesday, October 3rd at the Frontenac Hilton at 630. Seats are limited, so go online to retirementkey.com. Here's Thomas with more. Are you nearing retirement and wondering if you'll be able to live the same lifestyle as you are now? Do you worry about losing your nest egg in the next big market correction? Did you know if you're 59 and a half or older, you can roll over your company retirement plan 
tax-free to protect your nest egg from any more losses and provide more income than most investment options. Would you like to know why linking to the market is so much safer than owning the market? You'll get all the answers and more. If you're 59 and a half or older, you don't want to miss this last event of the year. Protect your retirement nest egg. Join the official financial advisors of my show, Thomas Helbig and Bob Kershaw, Tuesday, October 3rd at the Frontenac Hilton at 630. Go online to retirementkey.com. That's retirementkey.com. Join us at Odyssey as we all do our one thing together millions of things for our planet. September is World Ozone Month, so it's a great month to get rid of all your aerosol sprays. When we each share a one thing, it becomes a million things for our planet. What's your one thing? Nobody brings you more value in fine jewelry than Diamonds Direct. And they're proving it again by rolling back interest rates to 0%. But you need to hurry. Now through Sunday only, you can make any purchase and spread your payments over five years with an unheard of interest rate of 0.0%. A $6,000 ring is just 100 bucks a month. But hurry, this radical offer ends Sunday at 5 p.m. Don't miss this once-a-year blockbuster deal. Hurry, five years, zero interest financing. Get details and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Diamonds Direct, your love our passion on proof credit not just right and left right and wrong we're discussing it every day, every day. on st louis's home for conservative talk this hour of the mark reardon show is sponsored by gamma tree experts your trees deserve the best care call gamma tree experts you're listening to the mark reardon show on st louis's home for conservative talk I've been searching, nothing's working. I've been tripping, no one's perfect. Chasing vision, just the surface. Shirts on backwards, not on purpose. Yeah, I've been learning something bigger. Expectation, feet were failing. I found blessings flowing from the side of heaven. So I got to tell you, that's a group I haven't heard before. It's called Half Alive, and that's who Abby is going to see in about two hours. Very true. There oh, you go. Where are they going to be at? They're at the pageant. Oh, at the that's going to be fun. I the pageant nightclub. Oh, yeah. That'll be awesome. Well, have a great time tonight. Thank I you. know that's going to be fun. Um, I'm sure tomorrow you'll have a full half a live uh, broadcast that you'll be doing because you'll be up so little late tonight. You'll be half alive by the time you get here tomorrow. I'll be half asleep for sure. There you go. <laughs> that works out. Well, a guy who is never half asleep and always at the top of his game is Missouri Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe. Governor, how are you, sir? Mike, good afternoon. Maybe Gabby's going to bring the other half of the alive tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. Well, the other half will be here tomorrow, so Mark will be will be back in the studio. Hopefully, he will be fully alive and able to carry everything. Hey, uh, I saw that you were in town uh, for the big Mizzou uh, game this weekend, and you made a, a special presentation. What would you think of that game? Well, I, I was fantastic that we won. You know, I'm sure you and everybody know the stats. First time we've been 4-0 since 2013. So it was exciting to watch. Uh, you know, we got a St. Louis's own uh, quarterback there um, as who's doing a fantastic job and several St. Louisans on that Mizzou team. And it was nice to see a good victory. Um, you know, it's always heart pounding watching the Tigers, but uh, they pulled out a victory and it was nice to see the traffic downtown. I mean, from Ballpark Village to the Missouri Athletic Club to the lots around the Dome, I mean, the place was just uh, exploding with activity, and it was nice to see uh, that going once again. It's, it's much needed for downtown, and we were there to celebrate uh, agriculture and our involvement with the uh, Agriculture Task Force. We work with uh, Mizzou's College of uh, Kaffner's Food and Agriculture, so we, uh, we had a little role to play there, but it was, it was a great game and, and a great, great environment. Well, it was good to see you in town. I'm sure you've just been uh, burning up the state, getting all over uh, everywhere. How's the campaign going so far? It's going great. I'm in Clinton, Missouri tonight, actually, on the other side of the state. Um, and we'll be in multiple places, Jefferson County tomorrow, uh, Hannibal on Wednesday, back in Jeff City on on Thursday, Dexter, Missouri on Friday, Sykeston on Saturday. So Man. Uh, it's a big state, but a lot of really good people you meet. And um uh, the message, uh, our message of just kind of common sense governance is, seems to be uh, resonating. And uh, we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep visiting with folks and um, finding out how we can help them. And more importantly, finding out how government can stay out of their way. You know, when you drive that much, it's it's good to have a connection in the car business because you're at the very least going to need new tires. Mike, <laughs> I've always <laughs> driven nice Fords for the last uh, 40 years. You all know that I grew up in the Sinclair family and uh Mr. Sinclair was nice enough to start me out and still have a great relationship with that family and 
helped me ultimately get into a dealership down in Jefferson City. So I've driven Fords a long time, and it's a, it's a vehicle that's got me around just fine. So it's nice to have them get around the state. You know, that's one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about because you probably have a better perspective on this UAW strike that's going on than most people because you've been in the car business for so long. Uh, and, and then you have Corey Bush and AOC are deciding to show up in Winsville. I'm sure AOC was probably trying to figure out where exactly is Missouri, much less Winsville, that she shows up for. Well, hopefully she won't come back. I will tell you that these woke politicians that decide to jump on an issue to act like they actually care about what's going on, um, those, the, those folks don't like capitalists. They don't like the manufacturer or the dealer. And so it's interesting to me that they would show up at some sort of rally like that. But um, it, it, it's crazy. You had Senator Holly out there today, I think. So um, it's attracting um, multiple different uh, folks from different parties for different reasons, I might add. But, yeah, I mean, that, that needs to be settled. At the end of the day, um, as the retailer, the guy who's talking to the customer, trying to sell them or deliver them a car, trying to get parts for the car that they have in the shop, um, it's not good when you can't fulfill um, those orders and customers uh, become very dissatisfied very quickly. So I'm, I'm hopeful they can get the strike figured out. You know, one of the things that we talk about is the UAW worker, of course, and those those men and women on the front lines who are building the cars and how that's going to work. But a lot of the things that we forget about are all of the companies that feed into the automobile manufacturers. And I, I heard a story the other day that for every UAW worker that is building a car, there are 10 other workers that are doing support that go into that particular car. So there are a lot of people that have jobs that are on the line right now that have absolutely nothing to do directly with the UAW strike, but yet their lives are going to be impacted by this, aren't they? You know, Mike, automotive is one of our top 10 industries for economic defense, agriculture being number one, but automotive is in the top 10. And to your point, the ripple effect is incredible. We have a wheel manufacturer in Pettis County up in Sedalia, Missouri, that makes wheels for both Ford and GM, all the way down to a small family-owned business that makes uh, welded parts for the assembly line out of Washington, Missouri. So, uh, And those types of operations from four or five people to 400 people that supply the plants. Uh, of course, you have Ford's largest plant in North Kansas City and Clay Como, another GM plant just across the line in Kansas in the Kansas City area. And obviously, Wentzville here, we just saw a huge addition go on to the Wentzville plant. So you're exactly right. It's not just the plant. It's not just the people working them. It's the folks delivering the cars. It's the post, part, folk, uh, folks supplying parts, uh, pieces for the line, uh, various mechanical operations that, that go into supporting those plants, uh, all the way down to the restaurants that are, you know, supporting, you know, the workers who come and eat lunch or breakfast or whatever. I mean, the ripple effect's incredible, and so uh, it, it really needs to get solved. The economic impact in dollars is massive. You're already starting to see some numbers thrown out there of $1.7 I saw this morning just from the first five or six days. So uh, it's a massive effect on our economy and to the, to the average person who works in the supply chain below the plants as well. Well, I, I'm with you, and I hope this gets worked out quickly, and I hope it works out for the betterment of, of all involved. But – uh, the more that Joe Biden seems to touch and the more that he gets involved with, the worse things seem to go for whoever or whatever he is touching. And that's especially going on with the presidential race right now. Well, exactly. And what you're seeing is these UAW workers and uh, certainly the folks that supply various components for the plants like we were just talking about, they're hurting from the Biden economy. Uh, Biden inflation is killing these people, and I'm sure all of your listeners, including yourself, have been to the grocery store, to the hardware store, to just about any place you can buy anything. Uh, for the last literally two years, prices are just skyrocketing. And so the, the average person out there trying to make a living is really getting impacted by that. And certainly we cannot have this type of inflation anymore. And it is a partisan thing. If you look back at all the way back to Jimmy Carter, when I first be, uh, turned 18, the first time I was able to vote, my mother, who worked three jobs to support six kids by herself, said to me, I can't afford Jimmy Carter anymore. We have to vote for this guy named Ronald Reagan in 1980. I'll never forget that. I looked at my mom. I said, who's that? You know, uh, <laughs> but it was because the inflation was so bad and it was taking a toll on her being able to put food on the table. You're seeing the same thing now under the Biden economy. Those single parents are just the 
the parents that uh, have you know a, a, a husband and a wife struggling to make ends meet to to to, to uh, fend for their family. We we've got to fix this, and Joe Biden and the Democrats have to go. We've got to get a Republican in there that understands how important the economy is and how inflation takes a toll on Missouri and U.S. families. You know, the tone deafness of this guy it is just amazing because take everything that you just said, and he is going around the country and touting Bidenomics and how great Bidenomics is. And I think everybody goes back to what you just said. I go to the grocery store. And I see prices that I have not seen before. I'm paying more than I've ever paid before. My paycheck didn't go up, but yet everything I'm buying with it continues to be that way. I mean, I have I have three kids. I have a 28-year-old son, a 26-year-old son, and a 20-year, 21-year-old daughter. They are all in those formative areas of starting their careers and really starting to try and start their families and get those things running. I'm worried for them more than I'm worried for me because I'm at the backside of that part. I can survive some tough times. They can't. They are having to, to stretch all the way through. And I'm worried about what their future is going to be and what are they going to do to my kids' future. Well, and you should be because especially if you're a business that's in the early phases of starting up, my future son-in-law, we have a wedding in our household in about 30 days. But my future son-in-law opened up a retail butcher shop in Jefferson City. He's a small business guy, bought his own building, has three employees working for him. And, you know, he's, you know, as anybody who opens a small business, as I did 30-some years ago, you take on a lot of debt to make those first uh, several years work. And so it's very worrisome to those types of businesses all around the country. And here in Missouri, you know we are part of the Buy Missouri program and administer that out of our office. We have 550 companies representing over 16,000 Missouris, Missourians in Buy Missouri. And a lot of those companies who are younger and don't have several years under their belt, uh, this is really taking a toll on them. And I don't understand how Biden can continue to run around saying everything's fine. I, I don't know where the guy lives. I don't know if he still thinks he's in Japan or Alaska. I'm not sure where he thinks he is, but it's not he's not in touch with what's happening here. He's not in touch with what's happening in Henry County on the other side of the state. They just told me about it at a gas station here on my on my stop to, to get over to Clinton, Missouri. Is that that that's the talk of the town. You know, when you get the opportunity to do what you're doing and and travel the state of Missouri and you get the opportunity to go talk to people, they will tell you straight out what their pain is and they will tell you the pain points that that they're feeling. Do they ask you what are you going to do about this when you're elected governor? Do they ask you questions like that? Yeah, I you know, we get back to the and you know, Mike, you've heard it for years and years and years. Somebody says this is the most important election of your life. I arguably say when people have said it in the past they were right and they're right again about 24. I mean, being able to change the direction of the country obviously starts in uh, the D.C. Um, in, in the D.C. area and what we can do for the uh, most powerful person in the world, the commander in chief, and getting the right person in there. But certainly a Tenth Amendment provides for states' rights. So I would tell you that the states are the front line of defense against the overreach of what Washington and the federal government can do. You want somebody at the top that understands how to run a business, how to make decisions, what it takes to keep the economy going right, what small businesses are faced to, how to roll back regulations. You want somebody in the governor's seat who's going to be able to understand that, who's lived that, who's had their work their whole life trying to solve those types of problems so we can protect ourselves from these federal overreaches. It's it, it can be insurmountable for our many Missourians. You know, uh, we're talking with Lieutenant Governor uh, Mike Kehoe, who is running for governor of the state of Missouri. And uh, governor at the county level, we're always, you know, feeling here's what the states are putting on us. And the states are always feeling here's what the federal government is putting on the state. So I'm assuming that you're following this presidential election very, very closely because it's going to have a, a big impact on what you're going to be able to do for Missouri. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's going to have a huge impact. And I, we've seen uh, under the Trump administration, we were able to, um, you know, enjoy tax cuts, uh, rollbacks, regulations, trade negotiations, just about any piece that you want to look at was good news for trickling down to the state and to your level, to the county level, and what you deal with out in St. Charles County all comes down to politics or local. 
And what your decisions are made is based on what's happening to, with the state and obviously what's happening with the feds, uh, whether it's infrastructure is uh, – you and Steve and your counterparts have done so well in protecting St. Charles County and the St. Louis region's infrastructure base and the projects that we've had going on up there and that what that means for the economy. We've got to make sure that we have the right people at the top that understand what the ripple effect is going to be on decisions they make, whether it's at a federal level or a state level, down to the local leaders in the county, such as yourself. Well, we appreciate you taking some time out of your busy schedule to meet with us. I, I know you're driving all over the state. Uh, you were just here for the Mizzou game, and now you've crossed over to the other side. So, uh, yep. And I'll be back in Jefferson County tomorrow, so I'll be back on your <laughs> side. <laughs> We've got to work out these things so you can do them, you know, do the eastern side, and then you can do the western side and spend a little more time I, there. I love being down in St. Louis. I love seeing so many people at that game. I love the effect it had on the, the downtown businesses who need a shot in the arm. Uh, from that game it's a great recruiting area for the university to uh, be able to showcase uh, their teams and talents and and like i said you got a nice uh, st louis boy a good shamanon boy at quarterback there so we are, we really like that and and he understands barbecue better than most so you know he, he's <laughs> that's exactly right i think he's got that in his blood i think he does he definitely he has does. The, has the sugar fire working so he is he is all good there uh, well, Mike, we appreciate you taking the time. Good luck in your travels. Be safe as you're out traveling the state of Missouri, and we will catch up with you down the road. All right, pal. Thanks for having me on. Have a great day. By all means, that is Missouri Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe. And when you run for an office like that, you are traveling all the time. Uh, you're, you're in your car just burning the wheels off because you've got to get out to everywhere. People think it's just, you know, Missouri and Kansas City make up this. No, nah, there's... There's all this area about Missouri that you've got to get out to. You've got to go connect with people. But the great news is when you do, people are more than happy to tell you what is ticking them off <laughs> I bet at the that's moment. true, for you, sure. You'll have people that will just tell you a little bit of everything, sometimes a lot more than what you want to hear, but you really need to, right? So I appreciate these folks who, who put their name on the line to run for these statewide offices because – it's not easy, and uh, it takes a ton of time, and your family's got to be all in with you because uh, it, it just really wears everybody out. Uh, so we're going to, what do we have, a half hour left? Jeez. I know. I can't believe how fast this thing goes every time. I sit down here, and I think, man, how are we going to get through three hours? And then you look up, and you go, man, the time's almost gone. You wouldn't believe some of the, well, I shouldn't say that. I started to say, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that Joe Biden says. But then again, he's got a long enough history to where you go, yeah, I would. Well, he said some other stupid stuff. So we'll talk about that on the other side. My name is Mike Elam, sitting in for Mark Reardon today on St. Louis's home for conservative talk, 97.1 FM Talk. Seeing every empty page, but I find that everything I am is everything I should be. I don't... A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. Just avoid Veterans Memorial Parkway west of Cave Springs. There is an accident there involving two overturned vehicles. And it looks like one of them actually came from eastbound 70, and it ended on the outer road. And it was shut down there for a while. Again, I'm talking about Veterans Memorial Parkway. Oh, it's still shut down. West of Cave Springs, they're about to get the second vehicle on a tow truck. But that has caused a delay on 70 itself in both directions. Westbound slowing near 94 and eastbound slowing near 370. There's some volume southbound 270 south of 70 and northbound in the right lanes headed 470. 6440, a slow go. Clayton Skinker out through McCausland and approaching Lindbergh out through Ballas. But then it looks fine to the west. 44 looks pretty good. 55 southbound slowing at the 44 split. And then south of Loughborough, on down through the construction zone north of Lindbergh. From the Window World Traffic Center, I'm Sue Thomas. It's 525 at 971. St. Louis is home for conservative talk. Sponsored by Ashley Furniture. Fall is almost here, and at Ashley, seasonal decorating is a breeze. Snuggle up on a sectional or ultra-modern sofa. Gather outside with a new fire pit or conversation set. Ashley has everything you'll need. Shop in-store or visit ashley.com today. Cooler weather is upon us. The perfect time to call my friends at Hanson's Tree Service. Mark Cox here. You know, the falling temperatures, uh, reduced pressure from pests, 
fall and early winter is a prime time to get your trees pruned in the St. Louis area. There will be winter storms. It's not that far away, and this is a great time to get dead and hazardous trees removed before they cause any harm or damage. Call 636-379-1830 or go online anytime to hansonstree.com. Start your Amazon business. Hey, everyone. Ryan and Karen Pottinger here. Because of the wholesale formula, last year we ran our business while we traveled to and lived in four different countries. In 2020, Americans made $50 billion selling on Amazon. Join America's Amazon expert, Dylan Frost, where any Anyone can learn how to start an Amazon business for only $49.99, guaranteed, or your money back. Attend the Wholesale Formula 2-hour seminar Saturday, September 30th, 11 a.m. at the Aviator Hotel, Lindbergh Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri. Register at thewholesaleformula.com. Replacing your windows should be stress-free and add value to your home. Infinity from Marvin Windows are your best choice. Made with Ultrex fiberglass, eight times stronger than vinyl, low maintenance and available in many colors. And we leave your home spotless. Schedule your free design consultation by calling Lakeside Renovation and Design at 636-978-5000 or online at lakesiderenovationanddesign.com. Is your oven freezing cold and your fridge running hot? Holy call Hoffman Brothers! Hoffman Brothers can repair and install any appliance in your home. From dishwashers and refrigerators to washers, dryers, ovens, and more. And if it's just not worth fixing, our techs will help you replace it with a new one and install it right away. With the same great service and satisfaction for over 40 years. So when the clothes won't dry and the dishes won't wash? Holy call Hoffman Brothers! 314-664-3011 or go to HoffmanBros.com. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6986. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-575-6986. That's 800-575-6986. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-652-5241 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-652-5241. That's 800-652-5241. What do you have to lose? Call 800-652-5241. Again, 800-652-5241. It's time for a $98 furnace tune-up. This portion of the Mark Reardon Show is brought to you by Jerry Kelly Heating and Air Conditioning. The second Republican primary debate is live from California. And 97.1 FM Talk is bringing it to you this Wednesday starting at 8. Listen live. 97.1 FM Talk, St. Louis's home for conservative talk. You're listening to The Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. So I had a dad joke that I posted the other day. I posted dad joke every day on Facebook, right? So I posted this joke the other day that said, people are surprised that I have a police record, but I love all their greatest hits. Uh, 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 I love that. 
Yeah. Abby, <laughs> Abby loves all of these. I should just keep my mic off. You know, it, it's, <laughs> it's just one of those kind of things where it's uh, it started as just a weird thing because my daughter posted her first day of sophomore year of college last year, and she would always just roll her eyes at me because I have horrible dad jokes. And uh, I started posting a dad joke every day on my Facebook page. And she would go through and interact with it. And I'm like, look, my daughter is on the other side of the state of Missouri from me right now. But I know at least for five seconds that day, her dad was top of mind. Oh, that's nice. So it's like, hey, at least my daughter thought about me. And I hope that's at least some sort of accountability in her mind that says, hey, my dad's not that far away. Right. Yeah, so at least there's nice. something that, that don't do that. Your dad's watching. Right. He's he's close by. Um, so yesterday or was it today? Today it was um, uh, horses have very few divorces because they're in stable relationships. Abby, I leave this to you. I love that one, too. <laughs> there's there's a lot of them and none of them are good. Um, <laughs> hey, but good is is tomorrow. Mark Reardon's going to be back on uh, tomorrow. Uh, he's got New York Post. John Levine. Uh, Brian Kilmeade is going to be on the show. He's also got uh, Phil Kogan, who's going to be here. Oh. I know. Mark Reardon comes back. He gets all the big fancy stars. Yeah, you know? he's got some uh, story with Phil Kogan that has to do with bicycling, doesn't he? I think so, Abby. Well, we'll, we'll tune in and find out. <laughs> tune- My, Sue's memory, not particularly great. <laughs> it's, you know, It's a bicycling story. It'll be great. Yes, You'll love it. It's enthralling it's got 10 speeds it'll be fantastic <laughs> you're, you're i know they're yeah. just bad hey uh speaking of bad so have you heard this whole thing about the senate is going to change their dress code well they, didn't they already are they going back well so i think the senate has not formally approved this from the way that oh, i understand it okay. right so i think they still have to approve it and uh, it sounds like this got put in for John Fetterman. No, oh, it, it, yes. Right. Because John Fetterman can't wear a coat and tie for some reason. And, and I don't understand why, right? You can put on shorts and a button up shirt or a hoodie, but if you can't tie a tie, at the very least, you can wear a clip on tie. The Senate does not require you to wear a real tie. You could have a clip on tie, and you should be able to do that. So put on a clip on tie, a pair of slacks, and a jacket. And you're in. Everyone else follows those rules. And it, and it really does show respect to the office. It does. You know. But why are you changing? This is, this is Democrat policy in a nutshell. It really is. We are going to change everybody else for one person. I know. Right? You got 100 senators. 99 of them are going to follow the rules. One is not. But because we don't want to make that one feel out of place, we're going to make the other 99 change what they're used to just so we can conform to that one. So the minority runs the majority. That's Democrat policies in a nutshell. They're as stupid as the day is long, and they just continue to go back to them. But I love the fact that Fetterman had a a quick line here on his closing, cut number six. Aren't there more important things we should be talking about rather than if if I dress like a slob? And then cut number eight was a song that was just for Fetterman. I'm a slob, I'm a slob, I'm a slobby person and I don't need your sympathy because I don't mind this mess I'm living in. I love Fred Bottomer. <laughs> he comes up with the craziest stuff. How about so, old Fred Bottenheimer over hey, there, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks, Abby. I love the fact that Fetterman says, no, this isn't about me. We're not talking about me. Yes, we are. We're exactly talking about you. And I, it makes me question how many morons live in Pennsylvania, right? Like, Well, is you, it, or do you think they thought since he's had the medical issues we're going to do that? And, and since that's – but – I don't see how that's relevant to dress. He had the medical issues, though, during the campaign. Mm -hmm. And he wore shorts and a hoodie pretty much the entire campaign. Right? And that's that's your guy. You could have had a world-class heart surgeon as your senator. And you said, no, I want the guy who can't put a sentence together, who wears a hoodie and shorts to represent me, in the United States Senate. I think the, the concern should be more that if he is, yeah, 
unable to just wear a suit and follow the rules, is he okay? I mean, is no. he okay enough to be there? I mean, that He's, should be the question. He is not okay enough to do anything. Because remember during the campaign, they couldn't ask him questions directly when they did an interview. They had to type out all of the questions, and he had to have a monitor in front of him. Oh, so dear. they could at least have voice recognition where it would type out the questions, and he could read along, and he could read the question rather than just hear it. Look, if you have those kind of issues already, right, and you knew about the stroke and you knew about the other things that was going on with him, why, why would you vote for that guy to represent you? I really don't know. But if you're, if you're the Democrats, right, so let's get back to how stupid can we be, right? Let's live in a world in stupidity and just double down on it. Why would you want John Fetterman to be a senator? Because he, all he has to do is show up and vote the way you tell him to vote. I mean, they probably have someone sitting next to him who puts his finger on the button and helps him push it. It, it could be that stupid. It really could be that this guy's going to sit there and it's like, hey, John, can you come over here for a second? Mm-hmm. This is, remember the voting thing? Remember we went over the voting thing? Yeah, so this is what you need to do. We're going to push this button, okay? Push that button. Good job. You can go back to your office and take a nap now. Okay, she'll help you find the office. It'll be good. Remember, don't say anything on your way back. Don't don't talk to those reporter people. When they ask you questions, they're not your friends. So don't don't talk to that. This is where we are. It's it's just amazing. There's so many things that are just kind of going on that it makes you shake your head. And you're like, really? This this is where we are. And this um this whole thing with cancel culture as to where we are and the stupid issues that keep coming up. But one of the things that I heard somebody talk about it years ago, and you see it play out on television. It's one of those kind of things where I know people talk about the books and the indoctrination and, and all that kind of stuff. It's been going on for a really long time. And there's this sort of sublime type thing that says we need to undermine the head of the family. And you've been seeing it go on in television shows for a very long time. You got away from Father Knows Best in the 50s and 60s, right? You got away from that. Archie Bunker was was kind of bumbling, but he ran his house, and he was the head of his house, right? And you had that dominant male personality that was there, and that was kind of the culture of the time. But then we got into all this stuff of we need to dumb down dad, and we need to make dad the butt of all the jokes. So you started seeing things, even things like Everybody Loved Raymond. You remember that show? Oh, sure. Oh, it's on television every day. You can always watch it, right? So Ray is this great guy, but Ray is not the authority in his house. His wife is the one who really runs everything in his house. You had King of Queens, exact same thing, right? The dad is the funny guy, kind of bumbling guy, but he really doesn't know how to do things. His wife has got to keep him on track. So we have this part where we keep taking down the role of the father in the house. Mm -hmm. We minimize it. We don't make him as important as he used to be. And the more that we can do that, the more we can make it seem like, yeah, that guy really isn't someone that you need to listen to. Well, uh, Kevin Sorbo, it, you may know who he is. Um, Abby had to help remind me about the different shows that he had be that he had been in in the past, so I went, oh, yeah, that's who that guy is. But he had this line talking about Hollywood attacking masculinity. This whole attack on toxic masculinity and things like that. I, I look at what a lot of things have been coming out lately um, in, in the movies and television where they constantly just make men kind of wimps. This whole attack on fathers, this whole attack on a man being a man, I think to sit there and take away the masculinity from men, the men that are supposed to be the providers, the hunters, and I'm not saying women shouldn't be because my wife certainly throws in more than her two cents. So to me, it's like, my, my goodness, why, why this is such an attack and such to, to, to break apart the family unit. When Abby shared that cut with me, it reminded me about all that stuff that I had heard before that I was just talking about. And talking about, it really gets back to the disintegration of the family, the nuclear family. It gets back to the fact of the husband and wife used to work together to parent the children. 
And dad, I'm not saying dad needs to, you know, be the one who uh, is aloof and he just beats the kids and stuff like that. Don't hear what I ain't saying, right? That's not what I'm trying to say. A father should be the head of his household, should take responsibility for providing for his family, for being that role model for his kids. We need to figure out how to raise young men. And young men need to have that good, strong male role model in their lives. And for the fact that we keep cutting back and we uh, get rid of the role of the father and make it seem like the father's really not important, that's where you get back to destroying the family. And once you destroy a family, you destroy the culture. So if you want to figure out how did we end up where we are, I think that's a big reason as to how we ended up where we are. And then we ended up doing stupid things like making John Fetterman uh, a United States senator. How's that for a full circle? Boy, that was a long way around, wasn't it? I know. Sue just looks at me sometimes and, and just laughs. That goes, you know, the mind of Mike Elam, it's a crazy place. There's a lot of ADD going on. But you're right. I mean, if fathers are uh, essential, just essential. I mean, the research is uh, really backs that up in, in the life of, of any kid. It is. And uh, uh, when you don't have that, for whatever reason, whether it's represented by television or not, uh, it, it has a serious impact. The, it, I just think it gets back to the fact of uh, there's a lot of problems in this country that would go away if we would fix them at home uh -huh. and, oh, and yeah. quit letting the government, quit letting your schools, right. quit letting someone else raise your children. Yes, You're responsible for your kids. If you brought them into this world, they're yours now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you have a God-given gift that you have, but you're responsible for what you've been given. You're required to take charge of it, and you're required to raise it, and you're required to make that man and that woman, that young man and that young woman someone who can be productive in our society, can be accountable for their decisions. Yes. And that's the big part I think we come back to. We've just lost accountability for your decisions. You made that decision. It's not anyone else's fault. Mm -mm. You are the sum of all the decisions that you have made to this point in your life. And whether your life is good or your life is bad, in most cases, with very few exceptions, it is because you made those decisions that put you to where you are. And you've got to take responsibility for them. I've made some stupid decisions in my life. Oh, we all have. And I have paid a stupid tax for, for doing it, right? If you make a dumb decision, you should pay a price for it. And, I mean, that's just how life is, man. Don't blame other people. Accept it. Move on with it. Yep. We are going to move on to the cut of the day. And I've got something from Joe Biden that I just shake my head and go, this dude, why? Why do you put him in these situations? It, he can't even read a teleprompter right anymore these days. So we will do that on the other side. My name is Mike Elam, sitting in for Mark Reardon today on 97.1 FM Talk. A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. If you happen to be traveling on westbound 255, it is a slow go tonight. Just headed on the Illinois side for the JB Bridge, and it's a jam that goes back through Route 3. We've got westbound 6440 with some volume approaching Lindbergh on out through Ballas. Westbound 70 looks great out of downtown. Little bit of moderate volume, though, at uh, Cave Springs. They cleared that accident and reopened Veterans Memorial Parkway. That is the uh, outer road out there of 70, and we had a couple of overturned vehicles and they shut it down but it's now been reopened and traffic is thinning out from the window world traffic center i'm sue thomas it's 544 at 97.1 st louis is home for conservative talk sponsored by mosby building arts Time for new windows and don't have a plan? Call the tried and true Mosby Blue. For any kind of window, we'll give you a hand. Call the tried and true Mosby Blue. Mosby Building Arts. We do windows. Gillette Intimate gives guys a gentle and easy shave on there. And around there. And even under there. Don't treat your groin like junk. Respect it with Gillette Intimate. The best a man can get. Buy now at a retailer near you. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. 
This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify consumers with over a billion dollars in debt and are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now call 800-873-7171 800-873-7171 800-873-7171 stop everything you're doing right now and ask yourself are you currently receiving steady paychecks what about when you're retired will you receive a monthly check to cover your expenses and also have some fun marvin mitchell and the team at compass retirement solutions calls this mailbox money it's a monthly check you'll receive throughout retirement they they don't want you to worry about if the money will show up or how much money you'll receive. The only thing they want you to think about is how to spend it when it arrives. Find out how to get enough money in your mailbox every month when you're retired. Call Marvin Mitchell and the Compass Retirement Solutions team at 314-373-1598 to start working on a plan that can help you create the monthly income you'll need in retirement. Call 314-373-1598 right now and schedule a visit with Compass Retirement Solutions. 314-373-1598. Firm offers insurance services, investments, and services offered through Compass Retirement Group, a registered investment advisory in Missouri and Illinois. For garage door repair, St. Louis calls the real overhead door company of St. Louis. Mark Cox here. They're the ones with the red ribbon. They're the ones that have been here since 1926. Others may try to copy it. They can't match the level of service. The red ribbon means 97 years of trust and loyalty from St. Louis homeowners. Always look for the red ribbon it means you've got the genuine the original overhead door company of st louis 314-781-5200 overhead door stlewis.com del wamsley and the wealth cycle this is the wealth cycle that i've taught for 30 years buy one house 10 houses an apartment two apartments 820 500 units 1000 units 2000 5000 units and as you keep putting the money and the profits back in you become one of those rich people and much quicker than you'd even believe learn dell's wealth cycle at give me total freedom.com use promo code 2023 save 60 percent code 2023 give me total freedom.com give me total freedom.com nobody brings you more value in fine jewelry than diamonds direct and they're proving it again by rolling back interest rates to zero percent but you need to hurry now through sunday only you can make any purchase and spread your payments over five years with an unheard of interest rate of zero point zero percent a six thousand dollar ring is just 100 bucks a month but hurry this radical offer ends sunday at 5 p.m don't miss this once a year blockbuster deal hurry five years zero interest financing get details and more DiamondsDirect.com. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Unproved credit. The Mark Cox Morning Show. Tuesday, President Biden's appointed a gun violence czar that happens to be the vice president. We'll talk it over with the gun owners of America at 735. The Mark Cox Morning Show. On St. Louis's home for conservative talk. You're listening to The Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. So it's Mike Elam sitting in for Mark Reardon today. I can't believe that we're we're already done with the show today. So we've only got a, a few minutes left. I did want to touch real quick on um, the the Trump numbers. So Trump was speaking in uh, South Carolina in talking about his uh, his lead and uh, how if you look at the different polls as as to where he's at. So Abby, sorry I didn't give you a heads up on that. Um, but there's Trump speaking uh, number twenty four speaking in South Carolina. But we're leading by Ron DeSanctimonious. We're beating him by 56 points. You know, it's amazing. In yesterday's NBC News poll, I'm leading all of the Republicans in numbers like nobody's actually seen before. And we're at just about 60 percent already, and we're going up, and we're the only ones going up. They're going down. They're going down, down, down. They ought to stop wasting their time. You know, they're wasting a lot of time with these ridiculous debates that nobody's watching. Their last debate was the lowest rated debate in history. They see Trump is leading by 55 points. Think of that. And leading, leading by 10 points against him. The Washington Post, ABC, 10 points. That's a lot, you know, because it's like considered a lot. It's hard for Republicans 
to lead by that much into fake news media. The fake news media doesn't want to do that. But they even said it themselves. Even the liberal pundits, uh, number 26, talked about the new numbers. Trump with a nine-point lead over President Biden in that poll. And whatever caveats, whether that is an outlier, that's a tough one to spin. For Donald Trump there, nothing but good news. And it Oof. raises this question. If Republicans go forward and nominate Trump again, this is what the rematch in our poll would look like right he. now. So I, uh, what is that guy's name who does the, um, he's on NBC, Steve Kornacki? Oh, I'm not going to be able to help. I think that's his name, Steve Kornacki. So he does all the numbers and the polls. And, you know, they have the fancy monitor set up now to where they roll them through all the charts. So uh, Bill Hemmer does it at Fox. And he does an amazing job, really like Bill Hemmer. Uh, but Steve Kornacki is the one who does it. Every time he does it, he always, he doesn't have a tie on, but his sleeves are always rolled up. Doesn't wear a jacket. He always looks like he's been in the corner just sweating away and trying, oh, I got to get this done. And uh, here's this poll. And, we're, and then we've got this going on. And whenever he points out stuff on the board, he leans forward. Like, I mean, overtly leans and points toward it, toward the board. And I was watching him do this um with Kristen Welker yesterday on um, uh, Meet the Press. And I was like, dude, calm down. Decaf is your friend. Mm. It's okay. I mean, he was just so overly excited about this. But it, it just makes me wonder, what are the Democrats going to do at this point? I think they've all decided that Biden was a bad choice. And Biden is really about the only guy that they think who could run against Trump and lose. Well, they're doing an anti-RFK campaign, and I can't figure out why. I, I think they're afraid of him. I think they are, too. I mean, RFK and, is talking about actually running as a third party now. Because he seems like a, a, a much better alternative to Biden, and uh, they're, they're afraid of him. So they're running a campaign to not use him. And I'm thinking, I, I don't really understand that strategy. The only person I think that could be worse would be John Fetterman. I, I can't imagine anybody else that that would actually be worse. And I bring that up because it kind of takes us to Joe being his bumbly self. And that's where we get our audio cut of the day. Stand by. Playback ready. And now, the audio cut of the day. Now, admittedly, this is a very short audio cut of the day, but it is a great microcosm of this is Joe Biden. We are at the 50th anniversary of hip hop, which, by the way, I was just saying, I don't remember hip hop in 1973. When did Sugar Hill Gang come out? See, I thought Sugar Hill Gang was like 78, 79. Well, there you go. Yeah. But not uh, not, 73. They said 50 years of hip hop. I'm like, well, I guess I miss about six years or so. Um, But I I don't remember that part. But we're honoring our hip hop superstars, right? And this is Joe honoring him. Two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America. LLJ Cool J. Oh, LLJ. Right. Can we play that one more time? It's just, it's too good to miss. Oh. Two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America. LLJ Cool J. Does he say two? LLJ Cool, cool J. J. I wonder, yeah. I wonder if he thinks that's actually two people. Oh. I bet he. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we do well, it yeah, one okay. more time? What? Okay. Two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. He says two. He well, says, we don't know what he says after that, though. What well, if he says and blah, blah? Well, you know that, what I mean? That's, and that's probably how he came out. Yeah. And, and blah, blah. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your president. I'm so sorry. Uh, but we can fix that next year. Uh, it has been a joy being on and filling in today. Mark, I hope you have a wonderful time uh, tomorrow. Abby, I, I hope you have a great time at the concert tonight. Thank you. Please be careful. Yes. I Remind, will see you. We would love to see you back here tomorrow. Sue, it's always good. Always great to have you. Always fun to hang out. My name is Mike Elam. Mark Reardon will be back tomorrow on the Mark Reardon Show on St. Louis's home for conservative talk. 97.1 FM Talk. Oh.
A clear view of the roads from the Window World Traffic Center. Well, we've got some volume still on 70, and this is really close to Cave Springs where we had that incident on the outer road. So if you are eastbound 70, we now have an accident just past 370. And it looks like it's in the left lanes. It's causing a brief delay out there. Now, if you are westbound on 70 out of downtown, it looks fine. And 6440 is just slow on either side of Lindbergh. 55 southbound has thinned out. Still some volume on southbound.